the morning. It's it's today. I am looking at. Wow. <laughs> Ow. Good morning. Yes, I'm very awake. I'm sorry. I am actually sore from working out. It's like the first time in a long time that I'm actually sore. I feel so fucking good. It feels so good. I needed my recovery time. It's morning for me. It's morning for me. I don't think this is fair. I think it's morning for me, and so therefore it counts. It counts. <laughs> ah, I'm sore. I'm sore. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm sore. For yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah, okay. No, I'm sore from actually touching my face to the ground on when doing a push up. So proud of myself. I'm actually so proud of myself. It's like such an achievement. I remember when I first started working out many, many years ago, I tried to do a push up and I tried to touch my face to the ground and I fell down and I kind of like scrambled and flipped to get up like a sad little turtle that had been flipped over. And so now being able to do it, I'm very, I'm super proud of myself. I'm super, super proud of myself. I'm, <laughs> I'm really happy about it. You don't understand. So Louis likes Dom's confer- Nice, yes. I like delayed onset muscle soreness. Yes, correct. <laughs> oh man, I have the glasses on. I'm supposed to look smart. I'm supposed to look smart today. Could you not? Can you not? <laughs> man. Okay, there you go. Now I have the glasses and the hat. I look like a like a grandma. You are smart, don't you and smart don't go together? <sighs> Why is that so fucking mean? I worked out too and it was deadly nice. Nice. I really like glasses. I do not have glasses, but I would very much like to have them. I've I only took the I only ever took like the physical you know when you go to get a physical at the at the hospital? Um, just a yearly physical. And I was like past the reading test so hard that they were like, nah, I don't need it. So I, I didn't have an eye test until two years ago. I, I never had a real eye test. And then I went to get to I went to get my eye test and then they were like, uh yeah, don't get glasses. You'll fuck up your vision. <laughs> I would really like to have glasses. I'll just have to wait a couple more billion years, I think. But yes, you don't go to a hospital for a physical. I went to a hospital for a physical. I guess I went to a clinic. It's kind of the same thing. You can always get ones with window glass in. I have a couple of fake glasses and I have some blue light glasses for like when it's bad light quality inside of a room and I'm looking at a computer. But I want glasses. I think I look good with them. I think I look good with glasses. Whatever. Hello. Anyway, today I'm finally learning about Warhammer. <laughs> Hi, William. Thank you for two months. Thank you. It's been a while. How have you been? I want to be blind. Big glasses or still glasses? It's not how. It's not fun having glasses. I will never know what the world truly looks like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the glasses are a psyop. It's actually altering your vision. Green is blue and up is down. You're getting fucked by the government. <laughs> what led to this event happening? Oh, it's just that I'm really enjoying Warhammer 2. And I liked Vermintide. But I've never known anything about Warhammer lore. And I never bothered to learn. Because there's a lot of people on the internet who will be like... And let me actually, actually, the group, the, the, the Bretonians or the French. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna learn it for myself so that when anyone shows up in my chat with giant nerd glasses with a dirty wife beater, I can say, shut the fuck up. I learned it on my own. Um, yeah. Games Workshop hate. Major Kill is a good guy for lore because he's an Aussie who gives no fucks. YouTube. Major kill. Major kill. Whoa! Which one should we... There's so many videos. Help, 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 help. <laughs> There's too many. <laughs> Is there a meme video for like... 
A Warhammer lore. Oh, why is the warp such a hellscape? Oh, look, Warhammer 40k lore in a minute. Wait, do I want fantasy? Do I want fantasy? What is? Why are there Warhammer fantasy and Warhammer 40k? Why not just call them different things like Warhammer and Space Hammer? Like why not? <laughs> why not have those things as different things? 40k is sci-fi. Skaven, best, best, many, strong, warpstone, good, yes, yes. <laughs> They're in the same universe, just several millennia apart. Well, yeah, we're in the same fucking universe as Lord of the Rings. It's just that the, 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 the third age was like in the future. Has anyone heard that theory? That Lord of the Rings just takes place like in the future from us? Has anyone heard that? Watch if the God Emperor had a speech to text device. It's amazing for lore and entertainment. If the God Hammer had a text to speech device. This one. This one. Help. <laughs> this is clearly. That looks like Bumblebee from the Transformers. Are we looking at the right. Oops, is it God Hammer? <laughs> is that not Bumblebee from Transformers? Guys, I think you're confusing the franchises. Transformers is a is an old franchise, but it's very different from Warhammer. It's 40k and so funny. No, I think it's I think it's Transformers. You guys are confused. Okay, let's understand. Let's understand. <laughs> Warhammer 40k uh lore for idiots. Oh, sorry, not 40k. Oh my god, I'm already... This is already <laughs> You're lucky you don't have a thousand points right now? Well, maybe you shouldn't be a gambling addict. You ever think of that? Maybe you should clean up your life and reform yourself so you won't be a gambling addict. And maybe then you'd have, have a thousand points, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? You like throwing shit at girls, huh? Yeah. Ow. Okay, for beginners. Is this guy funny? I need I need humor because oh yeah perfect. Let me turn my BGM off. This looks appropriately stupid. The impending release of Total War Warhammer. It seems a lot of Total War YouTubers have been creating videos to make people Ow. understand the backstory Ow. of the game world. Well, I don't want to miss the bandwagon and I definitely don't know a lot I should about make <gasps> fantasies. Oh so wait. I should before I make before I do this stream. I should make a video about Warhammer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I will do. I will do a. Oh, uh, one second. One second. One second. One second. Um. Uh. uh cut the one second. I'm going to. I'm going to note down my expectations for Warhammer lore. Okay. I'm going to note it down, and for every point that I don't get, um, we can put a hat on. I think that's a good plan. Okay. 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 <clears throat> How much is there? How much is expected in this? How much really is there expected in this? Is it gonna be a lot? Can I just go for like five main points of Warhammer lore? Expectations? Of <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Expectations. Forty years of lore. Why? Okay, we will put this in the top corner. There's only a lot, not a little. Yeah. Why do people want that so much? If you want that, yeah, you're a degenerate. Yeah. Fucking nasty. Yeah. You have many, many lolly tubers to watch now on Face Connect. Yeah. It doesn't have to be me. Yeah. Why do you have to torture me with this garbage? Yeah. It's horrible. <sighs> I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. Yeah. We're in some hammers. I want fantasy nya. Warhammer nya. That's cute and funny. Go watch Gen 2! You don't need to do this to me nya! Uh, go watch Gen 2! Nya. I'm not a cat. Alright, expectations. There is a giant war that's... Uh, I feel like I need to be really specific. Otherwise it's not fair. Nya. No, Zinkro, it's Kaneko! Kaneko, not Kaneko! Kaneko! Kaneko, yeah. 
Carnacle! It's Golden Child. I am Golden Child, not Cat. Warhammer Fantasy Battle Lord Correction needed, yeah. Are Gen 2 cats? No, Gen 2 are lollies, yeah. Well, there's a surplus of lolly. There's a, mon a many lolly, yeah. I would say Sheena is more of an Ina body type. You know, Sheena, Ina. So you could remember that easily. But we also have Remy and Panko who are very, very small, yeah. So, stop it! Go, go ask them to go ask them to do the nyas. They'll do it happily. They'll love it. They'll love it. Panko is a very weird cat. <laughs> okay. Expectations. <laughs> Expectations. Um. Uh, Skaven. Uh, are the ones that made the world all fucky. I'm gonna make that an expectation. Okay, num expectation one. Skaven made the world all fucky. Nobody tell me the answers right now. Hey, Boeing, thank you for the sub. Thank you for three months of Prime. Thank you for your Bezos money. It's free for you, but it's more money for me. Thank fucking God. Thank you, Jeff Bezos or Andy Jassy for the extra 50 cents. I can buy a whole extra net, like an extra egg. If you, if you sub with Prime, which is free for Prime users, I get 50 cents extra in my paycheck, which means I can buy an extra double A, uh, great, great double A egg. Pretty cool. This is power abuse, Lumi. Pushing off work you don't want to do to your kohai? That is my right as a senpai nia. You ever hire an intern and you tell the intern to go get coffee? Same shit. I don't want to nya, so I'm gonna tell Remy to start nyaing. <laughs> Okay, okay. Number two. Mm. Um, oh, dark elf orgies uh, do not include regular knife ears, so they got mad about it and want to be included. That doesn't make any sense. I'm making it stupid just so I'll be wrong and have to wear a hat. I'm pretty sure dark elf orgies are considered impure to the regular elves and they condemn it so they don't like each other. Pretty good? That that seems like it would be true. Um Orcs keeps orcs keep eating each other other and cannot form a real government. Good? Would elves fuck trees? We knew that. We can't use knowledge we already know from playing Warhammer 2. Um, let's come up with two more expectations. Everything that gets proven wrong uh, gets a hat. <laughs> oh, I should do six. Because I have six hat. I have six little stars on my head, so I can have six points. Um, oh! Uh, hmm. We gotta think about something with the dwarves. How are the dwarves created? Dwarves are just short people? <gasps> They're goblins? Are there goblins? Something about the vortex, right? There's a vortex. The vortex was created by the elves. No, by the lizards. Tomb kings are just a myth. Are there female dwarves and do they have beards too? The the canon is that yes. Are you a dwarf if that's the description? No, that's not fair. I'm a very normal height. That's going in the fucking book loom? <laughs> yeah, dwarf book of grudges, dwarf whatever. I don't care. Write me up. You're not even real. Alright, um Goblins are real? Are goblins just small orcs? Goblins are baby orcs, right? <laughs> Uh, Warhammer is tied closely to Lord of the Rings. Do they influence each other? Hi, Strike of Rome. Did Warhammer and Lord of the Rings influence each other or no? Yes? Okay, so I'm gonna cross this out. Okay, one, last one, last one. Um, Cleostra is a fat bitch who drowned 
On her way to a concert, she wasn't even allowed to sing it. Wonderful. Perfect. <laughs> no one canceled me. Cleo's just real. Okay. Pretty sure Lord of the Ring was the basis for a lot of modern fantasy? Was Warhammer based on Lord of the Rings or the other way around? Cleostra isn't in the lore? Well, I know that to be true. I know that Cleostra was a fat bitch. <laughs> Wait, we can Google it. We can Google it. Cle Cleostra of Direfin. Cleostra Direfin. Fat bitch. Um... Cleostra Diaphragm was once the favorite court singer of a Bretonian king. Ew, French. Sent on a voyage across the ocean to sing for the Phoenix King, they were hit by a fierce storm. The Madame's notes turned to screams of fury as the ships sank and all aboard drowned. Decades later, a Bretonian galleon of rotten wood and tattered sails can be seen navigating the seas even in the most savage of storms. It is the Lamprey, the ship of the vengeful spirit Madame Cleostra and her crew, the Drowned. Lord of the Rings is decades older, many of them. Oh. Is she not in the lore? First original... She was the first legendary lord character? Damn. She's not only fat, she made lord forgive me. <laughs> I bet Lumi is 90% French and 10% Welsh. The only thing Lumi is confirmed to be is Russian. To learn Warhammer lore. Okay, let's, let's just change the last one. Um... Not fair. Dwarves are the ones who built the robots for 40k. There we go. That's gonna be my last bet. Okay, I got six bets on the line and I have to put on all of these dumb hats. Okay, let's watch this video. Yes, okay, right, Russian LARP. It's not, it's not a LARP because it's, what do you mean? Kalinko Lumi is my favorite VTuber. I, I think so too. I know Adidas because this is Adidas. The stripes are just in the back. <laughs> the stripes are in the back of the of the of the top, so it's not like. Diff why are you have? Why do you keep changing your name? Oh, uh, Ros Rusty. Why do you keep changing your name? Every single time I see you, your name is different. Lie. <laughs> I'm not a liar! Sukhavya, time to pound the vodka in the morning. It's not! It just goes into the borscht! He's a skinwalker? It's been the same for a bit. Hi, and the dogs, thank you for two months. No! Wasn't it like Rusty, rusty Snuck for it, but like with an, a three in it a while ago? You don't put vodka into borscht? It's, it's not. It's, it's not. It's. Fuck. I, I need to have a trigger word for Russian. Um, capitalism. Yet. Uh, Rasvitya. We get the Lumi Lord doing the Warhammer Lord. <laughs> My mom loves to, when I come home, she loves to go, Rasvitya. I'm like, oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> What do you call it? With nuns, with guns, murder, death, R word, elves, murder, death, you can say rape, murder, death, rape, elves, angry clowns, and why is there a terminator? What is that? Liat force alpha? Yelfa. <laughs> Normans weren't French, you subversive barb. I really need to relearn this accent. 40k angry clowns are the best? What is this? Space Station 13? Why are there. Clowns. 40 K clown? Oh <gasps> God. What? Is this just Batman? Is this just the Batman who laughs in his final ascended form? You're just that's just Batman who laughs. That is a hundred percent just Batman who laughs. Are you serious? Wait, the Batman who laughs. The Batman who ate Lamel. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like. Is this not the same? Look at this. 
Prime Clown. Look at this shit. This is exactly what it, what it is. This is exactly what it is. Literally the Batman who laughs. Batman, but he went full joke. Yeah, Batman in Warhammer confirmed. Batman is the clown god in Warhammer 40k, everyone. Similar, but the laughing god was first? I don't think so. Batman who laughs transcends time because he has time-space manipulation powers. <laughs> actually, actually, Batman who laughs can manipulate space and time. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think that's in his actual powers. Let me see. Um... Biofusion, biofusion, darkness manipulation, dimensional travel. Oh, see, he can go into the multiverse. He can go into the multiverse, and therefore that means he can travel through time. Interstellar travel. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, energy absorption, energy projection, flight, geokinesis, immortality, infection. Interstellar travel, involved molecular reconstruction, power absorption, reality alteration. There we go. Batman Who Laughs has canon canonically created the 40k universe. Alright, problem solved. Lore over. I'm gonna end the stream. That's done. We're done. We've made it. I've understood everything. <laughs> that comic book sucked, Scott Snyder, but it was the art is so good. It was the one with the best art. I really liked it. Is this from a Batman fanfic? No, it's a real Batman comic. It's very real. Look at all of this wiki. <laughs> Wait, let me see. How many... How many... It's in... It came out in 2020, 2017 and it... The most recent was 2021. A real terrible Batman comic. He ate Dr. Manhattan and then obtained his powers. Yeah! Look at him! This is the best Batman. It is canon. What universe is he from? Earth 22. Is regular Superman from Earth 22? Who else is in Earth 22? This is no longer Warhammer. This is just a... Wait, this is... Oh. Oh, Earth 22 is Dark Multiverse. Right? Earth 52. What is the regular Earth? You know how in Marvel we're like Earth 316 or something? What have you done? I'm so curious. Regular Earth in DC, Earth dash what? The main Earth is Earth 1? No? Earth 1 is one of the worlds created to die in the dark mode. Which one is the regular? Which one is the regular Earth? How do we know which one? Earth 1 is the regular Earth? Earth negative 1? Huh? Earth 1 is main, sometimes 0, sometimes Earth prime? 1? <laughs> minus 1 is dark? Oh, Earth minus Oh! Earth one. Earth one. Ah! Correct? Okay, 1945. This looks pretty original. That's This is why we hate multiverse theory. It didn't look like a negative one. Dark multiverse is where all the heroes end up having bad ends. That's why it's negative. Oh! Wait, what the fuck? Oh, modern civilization begins on Krypton. Wonderful. Viking Prince. Okay, this is not... This isn't supposed... <laughs> Thank you for the subs. As oh, hey! How's it going? How, how's the mix going? Um, This is... Uh, SL87 is a very cool producer. Great music. Check out his music on SoundCloud and YouTube. Right? Any other... Any other platforms that you got? SoundCloud, YouTube... Other stuff. Yeah, cool, cool producer. Please check him out. I don't I don't know if you have social links or anything, but feel free to link it. Or link it to a mod and then Spotify? Nice. Wait, let's pull it up on Spotify. I don't have a BGM going, so I'll just listen to your shit. <laughs> um You're done. Do you need any retakes? We have we've been working on something together and so I'm very excited. It sounds very cool. It's, oh nice! I found it. Okay. 
you place S4 League by any chance? It's so cute. I really like it. I stopped. You fucking killed it, dude. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun recording that. I really like your music. It's super, it's really upbeat and different from what I usually do. Uh, this is S087. Yeah. I'm just talking to a producer that I was working with. I think I would call you a producer, right? Anyway, we're learning about uh, nerd lore. <laughs> There's really no better way to describe it. I'm learning about nerd lore today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about Warhammer, but I'm playing the Warhammer game, so I'm really curious. Are we gonna play Dark Tide? Sure, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> The Immortal Hulk is the only good comic book run from the big two in the past five years. What the fuck is Immortal Hulk? Why is Hulk immortal? Wait, Immortal Hulk is Marvel, not... De oh, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. DC Marvel is its own day. They can have their own day. I don't know what's going on. Today is for Warhammer. Don't, don't actually mean about fucking Marvel. <laughs> but yeah, if you like this song, it is, um, it is by SO87. On Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube. So check it out. Maybe I could just link it. This guy. This guy. This guy. Check out this guy on on YouTube if you like his music. Comic universes are just so confusing. Yeah, I don't know why they're so fucking confusing. Man, you always put such good effort on the art too. I really like it. But I have not subscribed. Okay, I will now subscribe. Yay, Lord DC stream. I feel like what is nerdier between DC lore and Warhammer lore? Cute anime girl on thumbnail. I click. <laughs> I'm I'm guessing this is this is their OC, which is very cute, super cute. Warhammer easy. Why? Cause it's tabletop. Because it's tabletop? Probably. Alright, let's actually watch this fucking video. I'm going on too many tangents. Crud and dodge all those massive winding lore explanations. I can't understand Let this person Uncle because they are Saul British. Warring hammer thing that one time Devin tell you everything there is to know about those war hamsters. <coughs> so Battlehammer takes place in the olden days of your Only it's a bit different to the real olden days because in these olden days the Scandinavian mark countries <laughs> made even less of an effort not to look like a massive dong. <laughs> It was also back before Britain had been fertilized by the power of tea, so we're just sitting out in the corner trying to convince people we aren't a projectile splat from the <laughs> aforementioned Nordic knob. But War Hatchet isn't about the lands, it's about the things. And instead of going on and on about each thing for ages, I'll just tell you all you need to know about each one right up front, because I'm a real mensch. Thank you. What's First, a mensch? You've got the Holy Stolen Empire, this big thing that isn't medieval Germany and doesn't speak German no matter how hard you look. It's in the middle and it's full of an exotic fantasy creature Entire called humans, <laughs> a race that some say is loosely based on modern day Yiddish animals such as the chimpanzee and the blobfish. blobfish. These Empyreans probably invented the famous scuffle slammer after which the series was named. Oh, the, the Warhammer's the real. And I to the left of like not Germany is figurative. not France, which is convenient to remember because it's just not like real life. Not like this. <laughs> not <laughs> France is also humans, only they say that they're British Onian to further confuse potential allegations but of they're plagiarism. French. In the Hammer Stammer lore, the British Onian people are famous for their <laughs> castles and knights, although any accusations that these are just lifted from real life medieval history would be wholly unsound. <laughs> Rumour has it that Blowing CA will add France to, to the game for free since they accidentally made the faction already while developing Medieval 2 Total War. Oh, yeah, a super strange, isn't it? Look at that. Has risen uh, into a what is it called? Empire. The Britons is now the Literally. shining light of a once splintered not Europe, <laughs> illuminating the world with her ideas. Clearly, this is not and Europe. We are not in Europe. Era. Was I and right the power that the world map is actually based on the real world map? Like in the one second, 
in the real in the fucking vortex map that we're playing on it's actually based on the world map so that it's actually africa and south america in it so i wasn't just pretending why is that that's so lazy what the fuck make a real map just draw a squiggly line on a piece of paper and you have a map you don't need to it's not that hard make a video without talking about your british heritage challenge impossible i'm not british at all i was just uh born in cambridge not the same Warhammer is lazy? It's creative? Warhammer Fantasy TM? <laughs> it was the 1980s. Yeah, but Lord of the Rings had its own original map, so what, what the fuck? What the fuck? If Lord of the Rings can have an original map, then so can Warhammer. I'm disappointed. I'm willing to bet that every single campaign in D&D also has their own original map, so what the fuck? What is Reznov? I don't know anything! Okay. At Let's least we're not French. <laughs> now if we go further along to where Spain isn't because this is an original map design, oh, there's no. a team called the Stalinese. I haven't heard of them before, which means there must not be any law for them. It's probably just a load of clones of Stalin, coincidentally acting, speaking, and dressing like Spanish and Italian people for reasons completely different from the that? geographic location of the area, because that's a coincidence. Stop saying it's just They're a ripoff of real life. You don't know anything about the Slashtical universe, you idiot. Anyway, continuing around to the right, there are various little There's countries an devoted fantasy game to named various Karen pizza Nigma? recipes. Huh? They are perpetually at war, Earth, if it were a donut an instead of, of a globe? the olive oil drowned Varezzo and the overly that ham the enthusiastic Uccini could be enough or is to that create just, one topping to rule them all. The movie but I they very rarely use bang hammers the universe in all is this, a donut. so let's move on. Is that, wait, There's a strip of land that, that acts as the border between humans and non-humans. In That's the original theory? tabletop okay, game, this so was I'm not a faction not, at all, not fucking but weird. someone misread the instructions to set up some border donut. pieces <laughs> and ended up creating a whole new team. In this magical you could say border world, the universe everyone is, shaped is like a prince. The universe That's is shaped all the like lore a that exists The universe is shaped like a tree. I don't know. It all, it's, all, it's all fine. Multiverse theory Before is a scam. Before we go into other lands where they didn't just base Obelix. everything off a poorly done jigsaw of a map of Earth, let's first look up to Oblast, Blast. a land where people name their regions so after what direction British. they are in Can relative to the regions next second. door. This I'm distracted by chat. Okay, I'm going back because I didn't listen to a single bit of this video besides uh, the beginning when they said Scandi uh, Scandi Weijin Mark. <laughs> it's really hard to pay attention when chat says such funny things. One second. Universe is donut. See? Universe is a donut. Donut. The universe. Ow. Is a donut. Tada. Tada. Is donut. That's true in NASA image. Yes, 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 yes. This was taken by NASA with the new, what is it, the James Webb Space Telescope? Yeah, that's the new James Webb imagery. Science! Heckin' science! Yeah. Universe is donut. According to lifescience.com. Oh, I got a pop up. NASA. Oh, while the universe isn't shaped like a donut. Well, now I'm getting mixed messages. <laughs> Why the universe isn't shaped like a donut? The universe is a giant donut. This is horrible. Which is it? I don't know! Fuck! They say that they're British Onian to further confuse right. potential allegations of plagiarism. In the Hammerstammer lore, smarter, the British Onian people the are hat. famous for their castles and knights. <laughs> Although any accusations that these are just lifted from real life medieval history would be wholly unsound. Okay, I'm watching the, the video. Has it that Thank CA you for the sub. Thank you for the game crazy? for free since they accidentally made the faction already while developing Medieval 2 Total War. Yes. A kingdom built on ideals has risen into a mighty empire. I drink my coffee so I don't empire. talk. Because if I talk, I get distracted. This is now the shining light of a once splintered... Not Europe. ...illuminating the world with her ideas and ruling with her greatest hero. And the power of originality. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Summer Whiskey. How oh, cute. Have a good food. At least we're not French. Yes. Now, if we go further along to where Spain... 
Okay, one last tangent. I'm so sorry. How come Brits do that annoying thing where they go, yes? Has has anyone heard a Brit do that? They go, um, instead of saying S at the end of words, they say Z, yes. What's another word that ends with an S? Us? Has anyone heard that? If you, if you, have you ever met, no, 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 this is 100% factual. Have you ever met a Brit? And then they go, um, let's see, what's a sentence with the word us in it? You know, instead of saying us, like normal people, they say us. What is that? Why is that? Why is that? I hate that. I really don't like that. It's like, it's, um, I have no, I know, I just know they say among us. Don't they do that? Brits do that! But then Britain has lots of accents. Yeah, I know, but I feel like it's it's like a super British thing. We're like, us? Yes? It's one of the many accents you moron. Fuck you. Okay. That, that was the, that was, that was it the last time. Because tangent. this isn't original map swear. design. I think There's a, a team called the Stalinese. Nice. I haven't heard Stalin. of them before, which means there must not be any law for them. <gasps> oh, it's probably wait. just a Skaven. I haven't heard of them before, which means there must not be any law for them. I got so it's probably excited just to a load of clones of Stalin, <laughs> coincidentally acting, speaking, and dressing like Spanish and Italian people for reasons completely different from the geographic location <laughs> of the area. Because in a that's video a coincidence. Like, <laughs> Stop saying it's just a rip-off of real life. You don't know anything reference. about the slashtical universe, you idiot. <laughs> Anyway, okay. continuing around to the right, there are various Lucini. little countries devoted to various wow, pizza isn't this recipes. Literally just they Italy? are perpetually at war, although an alliance of the olive oil drowned Varezzo and the overly ham enthusiastic Lucini could be enough uh -huh. to create one topping to rule them all. But they very rarely use bang hammers in all this, so let's move on. There's a strip this of quite land literally that acts Italy. as the border between humans and non humans. In the original table, wow, game, Italy this is was bordered not a faction at all, but someone misread the instructions to set up some border pieces and ended up creating a whole new team. In this magical border world, everyone is a prince. That's all the law that exists about this. <laughs> Before we go into all the lands where they didn't just Happy base everything love. off a poorly done jigsaw of a map of Earth, let's first the look Earth up is now to free Oblast, to use everyone. a land you where people be name their regions it. after what direction they are in relative to the regions next door. This tradition unfortunately left them without a way to describe the middle of their lands, so you have to say, uh, Eastern, Western, oh, blast, where am I? Oh. Now, if you look really carefully at the map, you can tell what sort of people live oh, in Oblast. What country is Warhammer Notice from? that it's over to the right and up a bit from a place that isn't Germany. So that <laughs> means that this can't be Russia, Poland. <laughs> Not Russia Poland is a cold and vast land, ruled by the Tsars and patrolled by mighty boyars and cossars with a large bear on a red background as their icon. An easy way to remember it is to think of medieval Russia and then convince yourself yeah, I that can it just see how isn't this is that. made by the fucking And that's what Brits. it's like to live in a yeah, small nice town job, in Brits. North really by original. Just like you stole Eastern everything left else. Right most nice fucking downtown national dish Britain. Now Curry up from that frozen wasteland is an even more frozen wasteland <laughs> full of people called Bjorn, especially yeah, no, in the tribe of the Bjornlings. <laughs> Some commenters have wondered if this area was inspired by the real-life place where people called Bjorn live. However, you can tell that this is clearly untrue, for in Wakbasha they are a savage tribal people corrupted oh. by the dark forces of evil, whereas the Bjorn places in real life are the most civilized bits in the world. Oh. So that proves there is no connection between Norsca dwellers in this world and the Norsemen in ours. <laughs> anyway, their law is that they're a bit evil, but not as evil as the people who live in the land of evil. The North Pole in Smash Whammer used to be years. a site covered in air conditioners and heavy industry, oh, causing dwarves! a hole in the ozone layer dwarves. that gave everyone so Tell much sunburn they turned evil. <gasps> In an attempt to cool off, they air conditioned themselves so hard the whole place turned to ice. What? And now they roam south in search of sunscreen with the relevant UV protection, Wait, what? protecting their bodies from further damage by covering themselves in reflective metals infused with the blood of the unburned oh, the chaos ones. boys! These crazy North the Poles are an important part of the law because oh, everyone hates I them. They were very and they primitive, hate themselves, but they were actually and generally a lot of bad press is had regarding them because they also gained magical 
more powers from all the radiation. Wow, which and king of Angmar comes down North from Pole, his from They his use their superhuman keep. abilities to set up it elaborate pranks all. all over the world. And they also kill a lot of people, which makes other people who knew the dead people think a little less highly of the killing people people. But that like rarely happens hat. in stories set in the Gore Kramer universe. In Total War, these people are available as an extra team if you buy the game without looking into it too much in advance. Now we need to address all these little grey-brown bits Jeff all over Bar. the place. These bits are a bit like the human places, only the ceilings are much lower. This is if you've literally... ever read about Tolkien's fantasy world, or remember those fucking... guys from The Hobbit with the beards and the Scottish case. accents, these map places, only the ceilings are... This is literally the Witch King's Keep. This is, isn't, what is it, uh, Loth Angmar? No, 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 no. Uh, holy shit, it's literally the Witch King's Keep. Minas Morgul! No, 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 no. Minas Morgul is like over a bridge by a bunch of cliffs. Not Dogledore, I think it's... Yeah, it's the Witch King of Angmar's Keep. Oh lower. my god. If you've ever read about Tolkien's fantasy... There's a whole scene where Frodo and Sam have to climb up the cliffs of despair or whatever because they can't go through the... Through... Is it Kedu? Minas Morgul. They can't cross through Minas Morgul, so they have to climb the cliffs of... Despair. Yeah, it was underground. Warhammer steals a huge amount from other places, which makes them constantly suing people for stealing them is hilarious. <laughs> Warhammer was originally made as figures of all the cool things in fantasy fandom in the 80s except without playing co paying copyrights. It's older than the movie though? Yeah, but Minas Morgul is real. You can't tell me that Minas Morgul is real. Shut up, I'm the biggest Lord of the Rings fangirl ever. Minas Morgul. Oh, come on. The, it came before the movies. Minas Morgul. I mean, before the movies, I'm sure it was described as being on the... There's the mountains, right? You say that, but you didn't even know that it predates Warhammer? I don't know. I'm, I only have been on Earth for some a number of years. Okay, Lord of the Rings tangents don't count because Lord of the Rings inspired Warhammer, therefore it is related. Get fucked. Um... Aren't these like the cliffs of something? Cliffs? Isn't there like a cliffs of despair or something? Lord of the Rings came out in the 50s. I like that there's a map. Can I have a map of all of Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings map. Let's see if this map looks original or if it's just uh, not Spain. Do you have jiggle fig fi physics? Physics? No, I don't have jiggle physics. How dare you ask such a question when we are seriously nerding out about Warhammer? Huh? Huh? You think? How dare you? How dare you? I was being very nerdy about Warhammer. I'm wait, let's see if... Do you think orcs have jiggle physics? Orcs. Jiggle. Physics. I'll give you jiggle physics. Oh, no. Orc. Orcs and orcs. I'll give you jiggle physics. I'll give you your goddamn jiggle physics. Here, 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 here. You want jiggle physics, right? You want jiggle phys jiggle physics. There. Where is it? Where's the Urukai? These are Urukai, they're not really the same. Where is it? Comes out all slimy. Yeah, jiggling! Jiggling! Man, what a class. There, there's jiggling for you. Lord of the Rings was Tolkien's attempt at writing lore for Anglo-Saxons. There's your jiggle physics, buddy. I got you. Do you like it? Are you happy? Do you like that? Are you good? Look at those physics. <laughs> what do orcs do on their menus? Man meat! <laughs> Man meat is on the orc menu. It was an attempt to write lore for his created language because a language needs culture and history. I wish I was birthed to that soul. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Blood Bowl is just football and Warhammer fantasy? What is Blood Bowl? We'll get there. Okay, no more tangents. Fuck you and your jiggle physics. 
Fantasy World. Or remember those guys from the Hobbit I'm, with I'm the beards about and the Scottish accents? <laughs> These mountainy folk bits are basically just those, but it's not plagiarism because they say Karak instead of Kazakh and they use different oils on their beards sometimes. <laughs> Since they're all underground and total war takes place at ground level, I don't know if they'll bother making these guys into a faction in the game. They're now, in pretty the much the rest game. of the map is just a mishmash of various tribes of orcs. Orcs are the villain of the engagement spanner universe because oh. they like war too much, and the main moral of the franchise is that war should be avoided at and all why costs. Why would you call it Warhammer? They are sometimes called the Greenskins due to a wry observation of their skin colour. <laughs> Orcs are sort of magic in their own way, in that they have no character traits other than murderousness, and thanks to some sort of hive mind and the lack of a need to reproduce since they're technically a mushroom or something, they're still able to sustain a society based entirely on sending all members of that society to their deaths 24 orcs hours a day. The main cultural trait of the orcs is that they are total edge lords, <laughs> replacing the letter S with Z to rebel against their grammatically sound parents and talking generally like a three-year-old with a massive whiskey habit. I don't like porridge. I want humies for breakfast. <laughs> no, Jonathan, you can't eat humies. Humies, I want to eat some humies. Oh, delicious <laughs> porridge would fill you up, Jonathan. Humies. Jonathan! Wow. Jonathan! They are at the same time rather beta, submitting to the dude bros in their society based entirely on their size and popularity. Because of this combination of attitudes, some players like to adorn their orc models with fedora hats. Somewhere in the middle of all this are a load of vampires who aren't plagiarised from any previous media because Sylvania and Transylvania are not related. <laughs> no way! And they're appearing in the game as a faction that is immune to death. No way! Really? Now, some critics have suggested this will make the game too easy, <laughs> but they can probably still crumble due to a minus two public order you effect mean? from a farm that just has too many cows on it. So oh. don't worry about that. Like orcs, vampires just want to kill everything. Although they also bring the things they kill back to life as undead creatures, so perhaps <gasps> technically they want everything to be immortal, which is the opposite of wanting to kill everything, so I guess they aren't like the orcs at all. Not at but all. whatever Very they are, different. they command fierce and original fantasy creatures like bats, <laughs> skeletons, and zombies. Creatures that have <laughs> never before been included in a video game, so they will probably be the most creative team in the game. <laughs> so, what other things are in the conflict? I love Warhammer more. There's these rat people who come out the ground and stab you up at night. In fact, there are loads of kinds of evil <gasps> animal lizards. people who just want to make a mess of lovely civilization. Oh, those are the beastmen. Oh, and there's ancient Egypt. That's in the game, even though it isn't set that far in the past. Although, to be fair, since the ancient Egyptians were dead at this point in history, they make these ones look like old mummies from the film The Mummy. Although, actually, this is all totally brand new and original and isn't based on ancient Egypt, really. They just made these creatures up and they happen to look like ancient Egyptians and come from the same geographical location and stop saying it was lazy Not world building. Identical. They knew what they were doing, Wonderful. okay? You're such Get a bash from a new <laughs> Now, that's pretty much all the things you need to know about Slash Clamour. You probably heard Thank the rumour that there's this major Racism. other thing going on, but Lovely. seriously, guys, it's false. People <laughs> say there's this race of nigh-on immortal human-type things with pointy ears who are wise and mighty and travel around the world telling everyone how stupid they are in comparison <laughs> to them and are deeply involved in the world's history and could use magic sometimes and mostly live in some kind of enchanted <laughs> land off to the west of the main continent, although some of them live in a little offshoot group that lives in a big enchanted forest somewhere in the middle of the main bit. <laughs> I know that it all sounds like it's true, but seriously, that's literally oh the elves from Lord of the Rings God. you're describing. Why do you think that's part of Pan Fanner? If what I described was actually part of the law, that would be the biggest theft of intellectual property of all time. No one would stand for that. Look, just face it. Everything we've discussed is original content created by Games Workshop and no one else. Yes. If they really wanted to steal from Lord of the Rings, they'd just create an area surrounded by mountains to the east of the human area and refer to it as the Dark Land. But clearly they didn't, so why do you think they stole ideas? And as I said earlier, there aren't any ideas taken from the real world either. I mean, it's not like there's an area called the New World, which is just some clone of the Americas, oh with the southern God. of the two continents being... This... <laughs> Do you see Nippon over here? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck they even call it Nippon? <laughs> this is fucking Japan! Oh my God! At least there's no 
China, right? <laughs> okay, better version of the world map. China's not in it. <laughs> Being covered in jungles. That's real life. Oh my you're thinking god. Of. And there's Even no the culture. mountain ranges are almost exactly the same, right? What is this? Uh fucking what is the what is what is the Carpath Carpathians are here, but what is the rest of the mountain range? I guess there's no mountains in real life here. But there are some cliffs here. This is pretty mountainous. Cathay? Oh sorry, it's Oriental. I'm sorry. I should have referred to them as Orientals, not <laughs> Guys, you can't use the word Oriental. It's problematic. Please don't say that. <laughs> You lo just lost a little social credit score you had loved. I didn't have any social credit. I'm on a list. The land of chill. This is really nice. I like that. I'll be <laughs> cancel. This has been a thing since Conan where the author just swapped some names and gave the reader a wink and an elbow. The Nippons are shy, depressed boys piloting mechs. Oh, because helicopters. GW Gamesworks is the most original company ever, and that is why they will sue you if you use Warhammer in your YouTube name by establishing a trademark on the word. <laughs> here be demons. Fucking here be demons. Incredible. I love it. I love world maps, though. As, as much as this is a very copied world map, I still like it. Okay, so this is the vortex map that I'm basically playing on. Right here. This kind of like just little rotated, this rhombus area here, right? That's the vortex map. Because there's the donut and there's America. And I'm in Central America. There's South... Yeah, okay, okay. So the lizards are here and the dark elves are here and the elves are here and the lizards are here and then the dwarves are here-ish. Yeah. Nice! I actually know stuff. Based nice. on real life Arabia with a poorly disguised syllable switch in the Arabi. name. There's no place sticking out of the main continent like India where they just shorten the name and hope that no one notices. <laughs> There's not some big oriental area on the other side of the world from not Europe that they name using a little known name for China. And then oh. to the east of that, there isn't a mountainous island that's so clearly just Japan, they call it the word for Japan in Japanese. All that would only be true if they really couldn't be bothered to design an original fantasy world. So since you can't prove that any of that is true, you just have to admit that Games Workshop put the hours in, they got creative, yes. and they managed to create this magical world with interesting and unique cultures. Why don't you just accept that? <clears throat> anyway. I think by now you probably know about all the things I'll in the, the video Daniel in universe second. and will be well prepared to understand the new game set in this wonderful world. Nice. If you have any more questions about the lore, I wouldn't bother asking them as it's probably easier to look up the answers in an atlas or history encyclopedia. <laughs> or of course check out the great book that explains loads of the things in the Corn Flapper universe, The Silmarillion by J.R.R. <laughs> Rowling. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, subscribe to see more Mario Kart lore videos coming very soon. <laughs> oh my god. This video is called, um, Warhammer Lore Experts Summary All Things by Officially Devin. Wow, criminally undersubbed. Does he have more videos? Hello there. I Hello there. Hello there. People give George R. George R. R. Martin a hard time, but the dude has at least tried to cover his tracks even when he did this. Oh, he plays a lot of Civ, too. Well, this is a very big tangent. Sorry, I just found someone funny. Oh. <laughs> hey, Civ 6 came out, but I didn't get it because they <laughs> have the audacity to charge money for it. And I eat <laughs> potatoes I find in the mud across the road. Holy but... shit, it's been so long since I've seen Civ 5 before. It looks weird. He's the guy that voices kings and generals, isn't he? Really? Mandalore's Warhammer 2 review, Seth is in it? Tangents, lovely. The mentions of Civ reminded me of something I often thought about when comparing it to Total War. And since I don't have a video to release oh. today, here's some minutes of me talking about that thing of which I thought. There's something that Civ games do that Total War games oh. don't, or don't anymore, you could argue. Total War I deep. need him to make more fun of stuff. Okay, let's go back to learning more about... Learning more about Warhammer. One second, I'm just suddenly very invested. Okay. Mandalore? Whoa, too? Not cute, not funny, not subscribing. Imagine preferring Age of Sigmar lore over normal... I don't know what the fuck those words are! I still
still don't know what War ha what Sigmar is. Is Mandalore funny? You are not welcome in my court. Yet here you are. Friend or foe, we will see. Damn, damn. Summon the Elector Counts. <laughs> That was the not holy Roman Empire guy, right? What is happening in this video? <gasps> there are fucking ghosts? Ghosts on horses? Hey, this is pretty fun. How do I play that? Kyle Friends, the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire? Is this Empire? the greatest Warhammer fantasy game ever made? Yeah, I don't know. at least I think so. Does it have problems and things that put people off? <laughs> of course it does. This is a huge game, so I'll be talking about it a while today. I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm not going to get too deep into hyperbalancing. One, because it would take forever, and two, I'm just not attuned to the balance that well. So if you want to know, like, what unit needs plus two melee attack, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, there are other channels that do that, and they do a great job at it. I'm just not that smart, so when it comes to that, I'm going to cover things that stick out the most to me. So with I'm that, gonna start you doing that whenever I play a game. About the first Disclaimer, game. I, I am not that two? smart. <laughs> well, if you own both games, their campaign maps get combined into one mega campaign called Mortal Empires in the uh, second game. You can play as the old factions with updates, the wait, old series. Of wait, I can play, wait, I, I want to play that one. I want to play the Mortal Empires. Wait, 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 wait. Why did we play Eye of the Vortex when I could have played the whole world map? You guys didn't tell me that. Now I want to play that one. Disclaimer, I am a woman. You need to buy the first game too. Oh. You didn't ask? I need both games to play it? I, there's a flying tiger. There is a literal goddamn flying tiger in this thumbnail. I need both games? How much is, how much is it? How much is it? Wait, let me check Steam. So I need Warhammer 1 to, to get it? Well, me, if you have 200 hours spent to play Mortal M... Play Mortal M... Wait, uh, Warhammer... Total... Total War Warhammer... It's $60! Oh my god, that's not worth... And all the deals? Okay, I don't have the money for that. No, I don't have the money for that. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Man, I wanna play that thing. I don't wanna play on the stupid donut. I hate GameWorks. I fucking hate GameWorks. God damn it. All right, campaign whatever. called Mortal Empires in the second game. You can play as the old factions with updates, DLC carries over. It's all very nice. I view oh, Warhammer well, 2 as an cool excellent expansion from a game pack. Sense. 2 does have its own standalone campaign. Even though it's stupid that we'll I need to, to pay $120 so to get that campaign. Rather than try to brutally section things out like I usually do, this time I'm just going to go through the game Ooh. faction by faction and point out stuff as I come along to it. Actually, I probably should do something. There's so many fucking first. lords Total in War this Warhammer game, I really 2. want to play the also whole game. Also known as Total Warhammer 2. Probably this will irritate brand managers, but save my brain. Something about the game not having, uh... Something about Total War not having the same, like... Just because they have changed the names of all of the rulers from Germany to... O... O... Oh, oh, blast! Um, makes me want to try everything. Like in Civ, I did not want to play certain countries because I have a negative stereotype, <laughs> or I thought that they were weak. But now I want to play everyone because I can play as a fantasy tomb king instead of uh the Dutch. Let me can't say that. I don't want to play Wilhelmina. I don't care about tulip farms. I only want to play as Canada and have polar bears and hockey rinks. In Civ, I don't want to play on tulip farms. It's not fun. I want to take over everyone's country by peacefully annexing them as Eleanor of Aquitaine. Lumi can pirate the game anyway. Polders canceled. No polders! Canada is a slaver faction in Warhammer 2? Yeah, isn't Canada the sex cult, the orgy faction? Canada is the orgy faction in Warhammer. Correct? Yeah, Canada is the Dark Elves. Congratulations, Canadians. I hope you're having fun up there. <laughs> 
Canada is true does in Warhammer? Yeah, in, in Warhammer in Canada, the Dark Elves live there and they have lots of sex! Yeah. Oh, and Americans. Oh, that's fitting. Okay. I forgot that we started out as the lizards in, in Central America. That's why I was confused. Yeah. Peacefully by Tanks and Bombs? No, 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 no. In Civ 6, you can play as Eleanor of Aquitaine, and if you have really high culture, it's super easy to annex other people peacefully because they just want to join you because you're so cultured, you know? Because I built the Great Wall of France, and so everyone wants to get in on that. Not, not by tanks. I mean, if you blow some stuff up, then they're also more likely to annex to you. But at the same time, it's like... It was peaceful because of my culture score. <laughs> Still waiting for them to release the demon penguin faction? What the fuck is that? Demon penguin faction? Demon penguin faction? Is that real? Umi is pure literally me less than an hour ago. I'm pure. I, I'm I'm lizards. I live in Central America. I don't I don't care about stupid uh elves in Canada. Yeah. Annex them because they want to join your sex cult best. <laughs> Well, Nagarond is dead in Brain my the game. Run. The Total War franchise is well established. It's been going 20 years now with no oh signs of stopping. Oh my god, this is such a lovely game. There have been a lot of great game. games what and hiccups that? here and there. The AI can be silly and easily exploitable. Some things don't work how they should. The entire release of Rome 2. Just all of it. Still, overall a pretty good streak. What was wrong Most with of the Rome games too? have long-running communities, including modding. The most powerful and handsome of them, the medieval Total War 2 community, made a mod for Warhammer Fantasy. Oh. All of Warhammer is still updated today. Warhammer Fantasy and Total War were a perfect so match. That's so cute. So what is Warhammer Fantasy? Is it, it was like a mess. 40k? Oh. Well, most people are miserable and there are orcs, so... Not in a Kino that's about way, it, really. just in a bad yeah, there way. there are a few other parallels, but it's a very different setting. While well, 40k is an enormous, horrific blob of a sci-fi universe, fantasy isn't. It's a single not-Earth planet, with a donut, <laughs> which makes everything much more digestible. The factions are based <laughs> off real cultures, but ultimately fantastical and fictional. Uh. You have Egyptians, but they're undead. You have Aztecs, but they're lizards. You have the French, but they're very honorable. There are still some outliers <laughs> to this rule. The donut-dwelling high elves are based off fictional Atlantean lore. At least I hope it's fictional. Oh, Atlantis. Dark elves of the Northwestern Hemisphere. They have a history oh. of slavery and dominate their neighbors through giant floating fortresses. So pretty out there stuff. Oh, the how do I play as them? Wait, who's this? I want to play as those guys. I hope it's fictional. Dark elves of the Northwestern Hemisphere. They have a history of slavery. Actually, a system for slavery in there. The sex cult, the dark elves against the Canadians. I did not know that there was an actual. Need the DLC. Just play them. Okay, I will buy the DLC. I bought the the Hagen's Crown DLC. I don't remember. Like, you were enamored by the mighty Pepe Tep. This is correct because I really like this bulk. No DLC. Oh my god, I really want to try that now. I need to buy all DLC. I think we're going to end up like buying so much DLC for this game. I wonder if Lumi will enjoy the amount of micro in this game. I've already fucking played it. I have already fucking played it. I have already played it like for five weeks. Kumi got a... Do you have like a fucking memory deficiency issue? The frog with the ability to move was too strong for Edgelord Melikias. What? It means this is this game bankrupts you. It's only because there is so much DLC and I really want to buy more. You barely need micro in the game. Yeah, there's very little micro. I feel like most of it is uh proper planning. Yes. Uh we are talking about Warhammer 2. Total War Warhammer Warhammer 2. Dark elves are great, but the high elves always harass you. Because we have sex and they don't, it's not our fault. Slavery. And dominate their neighbors through giant floating fortresses. Fault. So pretty out there stuff. The current Mortal Empires map is about two-thirds of the Warhammer world. You're free to sail the globe, find strange oh. new cultures, then obliterate them for being awful. Oh. There are two layers to this game. The first is the overworld campaign map, which plays very similarly to other 4X titles. You recruit units, build up your cities, research technology, and do other things that might be specific to each faction. I'm so or sad. Even I want to play the Mortal Empires Yeah, how you play can change dramatically based on the leader you pick. Many of these are added for free or just massively tweaked, but there are a lot of DLC really ones as well. Play the and of course, Empires all the leaders and characters have massive Dark RPG so skill trees sleep. and special people. items and followers and quests. So cool. and, oof, I'm crying a little bit. I am getting ahead of myself. So on its own, the campaign map is a very Maybe intricate there are keys for 12 game. bucks. Battles even have auto resolve functions, so technically you could beat a campaign without ever touching the RTS part. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. 
The game is like really 40 years. What the fuck? Why do I have to pay sixty dollars? Oh, that's not fair. You miss out when you just hit auto resolve. Pepsi <laughs> good, big dumb baby. <laughs> anyway. Battles are the real oh, part of the game. Too late. If Thank you're used you. to more traditional RTS games, the Total War franchise is very different. Rather than only controlling individual units or small squads, you control entire regiments. There are still individual units and <gasps> sometimes small squads, but oh. for the most part you're moving big blobs of people. At uh -huh. least sometimes people, if you want to get technical. That yeah, may sound difficult, but it's well. actually pretty simple. A unit formation controls individually, so really those more traditional RTS games can be a lot harder to control. Instead of having to micro a bunch of cavalry units, you can just collect their unit and move them all at once. Let there are many handy ways to command your army, but you may have to dig EIF into the controls tabletop. to find some more useful ones. There are many factors to take into account when positioning troops. Moving archers behind enemy stuff in combat rep. means you can fire right into How the bad is DND? Is DND also as cost heavy as uh, Warhammer, or is DND generally better? Is is Warhammer just is is Games Workshop just bad compared to the other ones? DND is cheapish. So Games Workshop is just greedy? Bro, the books for D&D cost so much. It's cheaper. You don't near as much shit on the table to play D&D. Warhammer 2000, D&D 300. Holy fuck. Why is Games, Games Workshop so bad? Hey, here's a weird idea. What if we just uh, take everything in um, Warhammer, change the name slightly, and then um, re-release the game for very cheap. Would that be good? <laughs> they can't sue me because I've changed the name. We will call it um, Battle Axe and uh, you get Stark. <laughs> Face cut. <laughs> All the names a little bit. The Tomb Kings are now Mummy Lords. <laughs> It'll be perfect. <laughs> DMing costs a lot, paying D and D is pretty cheap. Crypt Princess. <laughs> I think we're on to something, chat. I think we're on to something. We'll sell it for the low, low price of uh, ten bucks. The price. Okay, look. If you own a three D printer. Filament is really fucking cheap. You could 3D print literally anything you wanted. It's so cheap. Just sell the 3D print plans online and you can get your shit 3D printed for super fucking cheap. Holy shit, the game is so different now because you can just 3D print your own stuff. Seriously. The only time G uh, Games Work didn't sue someone is when Marvel o or DM DC something had a character named Malekith one year before Gameworks created their Malekith. Wait, seriously? Why are they so, like, free with the lawsuit hammer? Oh, because it's Warhammer. <laughs> Change the name from Warhammer to lawsuit hammer. Back of them. Cowards. I mean, that's obvious. But if you're firing from the front and they have shields, they can deflect your shots. Oh. And those archers don't want to be caught in melee. Cavalry is really good at smashing through enemy formations. They might even go flying Team Rocket <gasps> style. Oh my However, God. some units may have spears or other factors I've which makes charging into in the front a bad idea. That's I don't think you make your formation can also mean less of a chance of breaking through. I just want through. to play the game. So you can try going around them or maybe soften them up with artillery or magic or archers. This is just one example. The battlefield itself has a lot to consider. Hills yeah. can block units with line of sight. They make units moving up them tire out and slower. Popsicle. And they help ranged weapons out. Because sure, arrows can fire in arcs, is but Mandela guns can't. So your guns can die without firing, or you base. can get the high ground. Once again, Whoa. this is just one example. <laughs> Some train can slow your army, the woods can hide your army, the woods can be your army. You get the idea, I'm not going to go through all of it. There are many fields of Wait, battle main tactics to consider. Is it the where the fight is, is based on where the armies meet in the campaign map. And that's it. There's much more, those are just the essentials to know going forward. Now oh. before I talk about the factions, I want to talk about the presentation in general. It's incredible. Oh, that's what fucked me up on that island. The lizards are like the only actually good faction in the game. The battles oh, are a sight to behold, but I want to start with the campaign map. A big advantage Total Warhammer has in this department over other 4X <laughs> games is that the map is handcrafted. Even though I've spent hundreds of hours staring at it, there are still new things I noticed on the campaign map. There's such richness and variety in all the locations. It honestly it's blows really my well mind done. that the campaign map is this detailed since they could have gotten away with making it more abstract. And this is all being done on a gigantic scale. 
or two different campaign maps. This is a genre that's so mechanics focused that it's usually seen as okay not to go this hard on the visuals, but they oh. did. Boy, did they. It might seem strange to fixate on, it's not Crisis or anything. It's just crazy for this kind of game. This is the top tier right now. For D&D, you, you have the pay, actual you pay about ten dollars per I mean, session for Smash. Are you kidding me? GM, this is insanity. If you can the sheer scale and level of detail for an RTS map is just solid. unbelievable. I'm still you can strain your eyes looking at the backgrounds and still be picking up all kinds some of things. People in general this is a Warhammer title, play. and the stupidly big scale is still here. <gasps> Once again, they probably could have gotten Whoa. away with less. Okay, example. Say you look at like a, a city map. You can play probably thing. Gotten away with less. Okay. What do they call this? Rockhenge. Example, say you look at like a, a city map. You can put yourself to on foot scale and just take a look around. <laughs> Not only are large objects game? high quality, but they extend yeah, but this to the, the smallest common, scale. For God's sake, the city has a hole in it, and you can like the look down and see there's more buildings it. down there, and it Stodgen's keeps extending. <laughs> it's not even playable, it's just there. I'm not Rock complaining, circle. this is amazing, but is everyone there okay? <laughs> is everyone sleeping enough? I hope so, but I don't think so. Uh, this is wonderful. So to no cool. surprise, of course, the units look incredible too. I'd just be repeating a the lot of what I just said, so I'm going to save some of these for faction by faction. For now, I'll just say I've played some recent FPS and action games that had characters that didn't look this good. I do want to give attention to the animation. If you miss the Dawn of War synchronized kills, you're right at home. Animations are made by the developers on their own time. Paying them to make more would be good. The more, the better. Wait, who gets the Hydra? Holy shit! It's like the gaping demon in Dark Souls. The gaping demon. Is is that what it is? Skaven? Skaven Abomination? Ew, what did it do? Take a bunch of lizards and like, uh, fucking... What was that movie again? What was that really nasty movie? Caterpillared it? It's full of rats? But it's scaly. Human centipeded it. Yeah, they just rat centipeded it. Ew! All that said, I do see some issues. A lot of visual improvements are made between the games. There's new lighting and fog effects. The UI is a lot better. But there wow. is one big step down the UI department. Warhammer 1 has an elegant faction selector. It oh. all fits on one screen. Pick your faction, and then pick your leader. It's simple and effective, which makes me wonder why Warhammer 2 has this, like, quasi-fighting game screen. It's not a huge deal, and reworking something like this actually takes a lot longer than most people would think, but I, like I hope it. they fix it up for game 3. I have no real issues with the art yeah, direction Warpstone, of the game. Like so if you're hoping only mad medium? that a model doesn't okay. look just like the tabletop or something, well, you won't get that here, but that's what Total War Center is for. My big issues are technical ones. The new lighting is good, but it came with some problems. Warhammer 2 has an option for screen space ambient occlusion. Put simply, ambient occlusion determines which objects block light and make shadow. This oh. generally makes lighting in a game look more realistic and you have a nicer image. Little shadows here and there add a lot of depth. This technique works on most of the maps, but it's not all of them. For whatever reason, a lot of desert and snow maps will give units a strange shimmer around them, sometimes white and sometimes black. Oh. Not all the maps are like this, Women only some, but when detected. it happens, it's very noticeable. What did I do? Which Total leads into the other issue. The new world of Warhammer 2 is a bright and sunny place, and the old world of Warhammer 1 was very um, dark elf The new world lighting looks great in the new maps and new characters, but something happened to some of the old ones. Here's Setcher so from Warhammer 2. Like He's looking good. Here's the best Von Karstein vampire in the first game. Oh, wait, I think it got cut off. Wait, let me fix that. So they don't condemn. So they don't like each other. That was number two. I just said that the the elves look down on degeneracy. Also a handsome man. Now let's put him in Warhammer 2 and oh shit. The lighting is horrible on him and it looks okay, like his texture is whacked down too. The actual if this is a bug, it's a pretty bad one. Playing it. So let's go back to lore. Major kill lore? Lore. Can I have a summary of the lore in the... In the what is a Primark? Does he go over fantasy lore or is he mostly doing 40k lore? Space lore. I don't know the Chaos Gods. I don't know anything about anything in this game. Well... Uh, Warhammer fantasy lore for beginners. I think major kill is 40k. Oh, that's useless. Oh! 
Age of Sigmar lore? How about that? Look, there's a star in it. That looks like me. Primark is 40k. Okay. This one? This one. This one. Oh, this one. This one. Lizardman entire lore is explained by an Australian. Oh, wait. Major Kill did this one. We can find... We actually found a Major Kill. Oh, mateys and Matesses. My last video, which featured sort of softcore hentai, has become age-restricted. But <laughs> it's still monetized. So I've come to a realization. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a Major Kill can say or do whatever he wants in his videos and still be monetized. I feel so liberated right now. I can say literally anything and still be good. It's time to flex my wings and fly. Cartman, help me out. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, fuck. I, I, I say that shit anyways. Community guidelines, lol. In this video, lol. I'll explain the entirety of the lore of the Lizardmen, including notable characters and events, okay, let's just, all the way up the until the end times, which, you know, lizards. wasn't exactly kind to our scaly friends. And another thing before I kick off this shit show, as I've said many times, Major Kill reads all comments, and those comments don't like my new intro, which I spent <laughs> fucking ages making. So, fuck. Mean to me. <laughs> okay. Deleting that shit ass intro and replacing it with something else in the future that I have not yet decided on. Take 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 that uh, haters. Haters. Anyway, let's get this cold blooded fest on the way as we deep dive into the fuckery of a great plan Whoa. that is the Lizardman faction and law. Long ago, when the Warhammer fantasy world was just a rocky piece of shit, an ancient intergalactic race called the Old Ones came down Ew. and decided it would be a great place to set up- Wait, are you serious? The Old Ones are just canonically aliens? The fucking frogs are just aliens? That's why I look like that? That's why my hands are so big? What the f- Frog gods are aliens? What? Skaven are building a spaceship? <gasps> it's not the dwarves that that are res are the ones who built the robots for 40k. It was the Skaven. Oh my god. Okay, I need another hat. War Warhammer 2 is just XCOM. 40k has nothing to do with it. Who's the one that built all the spacecraft for the 40k stuff? Frogs are their translators? I don't know. This frog looks pretty powerful to me. The Skaven threw the moon at South America. <laughs> the humans? There are no humans in... How come there's no humans in 40... In, uh, in Warhammer Fantasy, but then the humans are the ones who are mainly in 40k? Huh? Where did the humans come from? This sounds like some bullshit. Justice for fucking Skaven. Shop All right. and continue I working on their Skaven great plan. Fan. What was their great plan, I hear you ask? And, and well, no one really knows. They terraformed the world, pulling it closer to the sun and shifted the tectonic plates to make life possible in their image. They then directly created Wait, the Lisbon race as their servants and warriors. Due to Games Workshop's Wait, extremely it, racist tendencies, the Lizardman race was split into four sub-races. We have the Dinosaurs, who are primitive monster creatures that act as the Lizardman's muscle in battle. A very mm. notable dino is Grimlock, the personal T-Rex taxi to Crocker. Going up the hierarchy, we then have the Skinks, who are small, intelligent, <laughs> sneaky Jews that act as the slaves slash servants to the oh, upper God, hierarchy. You didn't hear that. However, you didn't hear due to that. their small, nimble size, they can also be used as spies and assassins in war as well. They and they can actually, some of them can actually use magic or just be <laughs> shit tier soldiers. The most badass of these midgets is Oxyotl, who is able to survive it. Skaven don't exist in 40k and are basically replaced by a mutant species called Ratlings. Also, humans exist in fantasy, Lumi, what do you mean? Only the friends. In the Chaos Realms for thousands of years before returning back to the old world. And he maintained his- <gasps> Is that not an ace- what was his name? H.G. Geiger or H.J. Geiger? Oh, thank you for continuing the sub, Leader Man! Uh, what was his name? Geiger's? Is that not just Geiger's fucking, uh, alien? H.R. Geiger. Is that not just a Geiger sketch? Wow, they really stole everything, huh? Even going from fucking Geiger. No? Tell me that's not in a Geiger's. Really? Really? It's a lizard? Don't question it? 
You can't just stick chameleon eyes on something and call it a lizard. It's Oxyato, one of the best lizard lords in Warhammer 2. One second. I need to prove I need to prove that I'm not crazy. HR guy gorilla. If nobody's ever looked at the original HR guy gorilla like art and shit, it's actually really cool. Really? 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 That is the same thing. No idea. <laughs> No idea who that is. That's a stretch. Really? <laughs> it even has the fucking eyes. <laughs> it's not. Look at it. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Wait, where is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. You're taking one angle from one piece of art and judging it entirely, yet you're still wrong. Come on. Fuck you. That's a long-headed alien. Bumping up another spot in this racially Fuck segregated God. society, we have the Chads of the Lizard Men, the Saurus. These buffed up gym junglers made up the main more. force of the Lizardman army. Despite mostly being barely cannon fodder, there are some among the Saurus that are beyond overpowered. Notable examples include Gorok, the albino cunt, who <gasps> due to his- Only the French does Lumi not know about the Empire? No, I don't know about humans. Wait, 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 wait. The Pale Orc. Azog. One second. One second. <laughs> it's a little bit similar, wouldn't you say? Orc and Saurus are different. He's got scars on his face. Pale Orc has scars on his face. This is racist, Lumi? What? Because they're pale? They're both albino. That's not racism. Man, this was really cool, actually. This looks really cool. No, Elizabeth, Lumer's racist. It's not racism! Yeah, I know. This is a very cute baby. Look at him. He's so chubby. He's got the fattest tail in the world. Such a cutie. Gorok is cool, though. Okay. His white superiority is unkillable, and Krokgar, who wields multiple weapons that were forged by the old ones themselves. So naturally, a oh, big God. killing machine with advanced alien weaponry is going to be one I'm tough motherfucker. So <laughs> Did I also mention that he rides a massive T-Rex looking motherfucker? And finally, we have the supreme master race, superior in every way, the Slan, who were directly created by the old ones in their own image to be leaders of the Lizardman race. That is disgusting. Among the slan, uh, among the smans are, you know, most powerful, we have Lord Mazdamundi, who once got bored and noticed that the tectonic plates were slightly <laughs> off, so he rearranged them with his mind, accidentally destroying the greatest dwarven empire in the process. If Mazda sound, doesn't sound strong enough, then try the ironically named Lord Croak, who almost singly handed single-handedly save the entire world by racking up a seven-digit kill count during the force first great war against <gasps> chaos as the world continued to form the old ones created or nurtured Whoa, other races that would act as an ally no to the lizard men. these races include the high elves men and dwarves with a few other races like the ogres and giants thrown in for lols the purpose of creating oh, these races was to genocide all that. other races that were not part of the great plan or had been corrupted by chaos fuck me these old ones are really like these guys are like cotton plan, cotton plantation owners by this point. Like, <laughs> talk about prejudice against other races.
Eventually, things went to absolute <gasps> shit. Whether by the power of chaos or the foolishness of the old ones, the teleporters that have been created at each pole of the world Ew. collapsed on themselves and created a means for chaos to flood into the world, while also Ew, simultaneously the locking those? the old ones out. Hence Ew. began the biggest war oh, the world had ever Ew. seen. Each race was isolated from one another and fought to the last. <laughs> Legendary heroes rose and fell during this great catastrophe. However, the combined effort of the elves and the lizardmen were able to, to crack the giant vortex and banish the demons see. from the we world, saving it but leaving it forever scarred. The lizardmen and the rest of the world rebuilt their civilizations, but the great catastrophe made everyone even more racist, so began, so began a long period of isolation. The main contact that the what lizardmen the got from the outside were the dark elves who kept raiding them. Here's a fun fact. Lord Mazda Money got so sick and tired of the Dark Elf raids that he created a mountain range as a divider between the two races. Not only that, the mountain range is sentient and, and deliberately Lord, moves in order video? to try and crush and kill any Dark Elves okay. who are attempting to cross it. Pretty neat. Now here's the real problem. The Old Ones were guiding the Lizardmen in fulfilling the Great Plan. But they never told the Lizardmen what the Great Plan actually was in detail. And all the slam that were able to interpret the prank correctly are now dead. So the Lizardmen are a bit directionless. This plus the fact they are under almost constant attack by Clan Pestilence from the Skaven mean that our Lizzies just can't get shit done. The Lizardmen were almost destroyed once well, by an all-out attack by Clan Pestilence as they were not adept at fighting the Skaven and were also not prepared for the intense bio and chemical warfare that the Skaven, especially Clan Pestilence, loved. All would have been lost were it not for the emergence of a cult of skinks oh who began to What is his name? Like Moskink or something? <laughs> it's a great plan, just the plan. <laughs> Praying to a new god, the serpent god Sotek. This was super Most strange as skinks had been bred purely to obey and serve. <laughs> so this sudden push of free will definitely concerned Incredible. the slam. Litter but what was truly Moses. amazing was that all the praying had worked. <laughs> On the cusp of the feet, Suddenly, a metric fuck ton of serpents, led by the gigantic god Sotek himself, what proceeded to snake rape all the invading Skaven, forcing them to abandon all Can of Lustria. It's said that Sotek even that? confronted the Horn Rat himself that? and bit him on the that? nutsack. Although happy Holy to be alive, shit, the slam like confused as fuck, as there had never Why been an old cat? one called Sotek. It is no. unknown if Sotek was a secret old one, a gigantic monster that suddenly had an appetite for Muslims, or if it was so many skinks wanking off to him that he actually manifested uh, in the happened. warp and then came into the world. The slan had grown weak in this existence? time and have would rather sleep and meditate than sort out their own shit. So running the Lizardman society fell to the highly autistic <gasps> skink priests who despite being able to restore most of the temple cities had forgotten most of the old one's teachings and have Holy regressed fuck. into a primitive state <laughs> with only Mazda Mundi and Lord Croak's relic priest form and a few unkillable Saurus warriors holding their entire civilization together. Out of respect for the Lizardman faction, I will not be talking about what happens to them during the end times, and this is pretty fucking lame. In short though, Games Workshop had no fucking clue to how to kill off the Lizardmen because of how powerful they were. Like how do you kill Law off Lord Mazda Mundi when he can literally move the planet's structure with his mind? So they decided to make the Skaven discover nuclear weaponry and blow up the Chaos Moon forcing Mazda Mundi to give up his life to prevent it from blowing up the world. The subsequent bits of Moon fell on Lustria, killing all the other guy. main characters, save Crocker. How did Crocker survive, I hear you ask? Well, he boarded a spaceship and flew into the stars. For the love of yeah. the Chaos Gods, do not ever mention Age of Zygmar, woman. Age of Zygmar. Age of Zygmar. Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma. What are you gonna do about it? What Age of Sigma? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't know anything. That is one ugly ass lizard. How yes. dare you? Who's a very cute skinky boy? Because now there are spaceships and nukes flying around everywhere in a fantasy setting. Fucking hell. That is it for my Aussie summary of the Lizardmen lore, guys. Uh, I've covered uh, uh, everything you need to know about them for a solid understanding to form. If you guys want me to cover an individual character of the Lizardmen, Thank then spam you to the, the comments with the Merchants Guild for generously bankrolling this video. Hey, hey, people. This is the end time story arc. What is the age of... I will Google it on a different browser. Age of... Shh, I'm Googling it on a different... What's wrong with it? Why don't people like it?
It's a sequel to... Huh? What is it? When Games Workshop reset an entire setting to sell more models? Seriously? That is so fucked up. Really? Oh, Age of Sigmar is a sequel to Fantasy Battle. It is not well-liked due to a hatred of change and killing off several well-liked characters in ways that made people upset. Oh. Oh, oh no, did they kill off your enemy waifus? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh. Okay, well, if they did it out of greed, then it's pretty shitty. That's pretty fucking scummy. That's pretty fucking scummy. The world blows up? Fuck you. <laughs> They killed literally everything just to sell new models? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Fucking corporate greed, man. This is why we should escape to space where it is untouched by capitalism. Correct? Um, oh man, every single day, Tim Curry's words get more and more relevant, don't they? Okay, I mean, if Major Kill actually... Ooh. <laughs> if Major Kill actually has, like, fantasy stuff... Let's see, fantasy... Fantasy? 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 Oh! What the fuck is this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Relevant video? Major Kill has fan and 40k? They bought the cool parts of 40k universe in... They brought the cool parts into classic Warhammer. Oh. <laughs> Is this the gay intro? I kind of like it. I like it. And away we go. Here it is, <laughs> boys and girls. Apparently 2.8% of my audience is female, so I've got to cater to them as well. Today, we are going through and learning all the bits and bobs He's about all the gods me. of the old world. Well, the ones that matter anyway. Wait, One wait, wait, gotta... wait. Did he just say that fantasy is for women? <laughs> Back. Let me just go back real quick. <laughs> oh and away my fucking we God. go. Here it is, boys and girls. Apparently, 2.8% of my audience is female, so I've got to cater to them. The 2.8% is me. <laughs> Today, we are going through and learning all the bits and bobs about all the gods of the old world. Okay, let's all go. The ones that matter I'm anyway. Drink more coffee. One thing you got to understand about the gods of the old world is that pretty much all of them are cock sucking fuckfaces. Who all have their own retarded agendas and nice. just fuck each other over and everyone nice. else to achieve their agenda. Another thing you got to understand is that most of the gods are just overpowered refugees who escaped the destruction of their world, which was destroyed by chaos previously. What a surprise! I don't so know the name of that world, forever, but basically. I think it was called Syria. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. We can see if I can get a thousand subscribers from that video. That'd be pretty fucking sweet, eh? It seems Sweet like eye. everyone is enjoying my little, enjoying my little spiel. Okay, really quick, does and is there are there any Aussies in chat? Do you know if Bogan is an insult? Rat God, best God, praise the great horned rat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not Aussie. Help! Help! Is anyone know if like that's a bad word? Does that count as a slur? It's fine. So I can be like, all right, uh, he's got like a bargain accent sometimes. Bergen is like a hooligan. It's as much of an insult as redneck. Okay, so Bergen is fine to say. If you're an Aussie. Which I clearly am. I'm clearly an Aussie. And I say, okay, so that's good. 40k is for everyone unless you're poor. That's me, Aussies boys! The lore of Warhammer. Poor. But some feedback I'm I don't think Aussies have swear words. words. Everything so is okay for them. Yeah, can't. To God, or the gods, or whatever. That I'll have zero fuck ups and I will get everyone's name right and pronounced correctly. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Kicking it off with the big baddies, the deadly oh, force. Oh, I've seen this picture before. This is Sakana. This is Pippa. Um, I think this one is Leo. And then, oh, is this Sakana? I've seen this picture before in a meme. I've seen the meme of this. Who's this one? Pippa is Nurgle. I don't know who Nurgle is. Pippa is the green one. Who's the pink one? Is this one Leah? What, who's the pink one? The seduct, the seducting one. The sexy one. The green one? Okay, this is Nurgle. Pink is Leah. Who's this one? Who's this one? Is this Tenma? Me too. Yori? 
What do you mean 40k is for everyone? Everyone knows it's for everyone except those we don't like. Red is war. Tenma. Oh, that's corn? Okay, and then this one is Sakuna. I've seen the meme. I've seen the meme before. I want to be on a Warhammer head character too. Red is Tenma. I want to be on one too. Wait, that's Slanish? Wait, that's Slanish? I thought Slanash was androgynous. Why does Slanash have boobs in this? Wait, why? I thought Slanash was androgynous. That's him? Well, I don't see the extra part there. I didn't know Slanash was hot. In the war- in um... In Warhammer 2, he's not hot. Damn, what the fuck? They really gave him a glow up here. Slanash always has tits. We have to keep it PG. Slanish is whatever it wants to be. She's talking. <laughs> the guy does sex, why wouldn't he be hot? Well, he looked ugly to me. But now I kind of get the appeal. I'm not into the elbow spikes. Nick. <laughs> Thank you, Tuna. Yeah, guys, can I be the mentally challenged chaos god? I think that fits. <laughs> okay, let's go. The Ruinous Powers and the Planet Rapers. I give you the Gods of Chaos. Woo! The four Gods of Chaos are in constant conflict with each other, each trying to gain power over the other in a great game. We have Korn, or as I like to call him, Horny Corny, due to his <laughs> unnatural sexual obsession with Korn on a cob. Horny Corny is a badass motherfucker who will kill you, and then you bring you back to life just to kill you again. That sounds His followers like me. all bodybuilders who eat puppies for breakfast and then fuck your wife for lunch. Their worship of corn grants them increased bravery, honor, and strength. Is that the bone throne? Or the skull throne? Chanting, Sorry, is that the skull throne? Is he the blood god? god? And can often be heard chanting, Blood for the blood god. <laughs> and be heard chanting, Honor and strength. Along with a shitload of bloodlust. They can often be heard chanting, Blood for the blood god. <laughs> and... Skulls for the skull throne. And they can also be commonly heard chanting, When the fuck is season 4 of Rick and Morty coming out? <laughs> Corn is often considered the strongest being in the Warhammer Old World universe, but that opinion is hotly debated. Actually... The next Chaos God, who is also considered as strong, uh... if not stronger than Corn, is the smartest dirt out there. He brings change, he brings knowledge, oh! but most of all... Is this where Seth gets his name? Tinch. Season 4 of Rick and Morty, this video is old, yeah, I'm, it is. is. Is that actually where he gets his name? Tinch? Oh, I understand now. I love it. it. Retarded Birdman. I give oh. you. <laughs> to t I. To mm. <clears throat> uh, give me, Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, I give you tit snitch. <laughs> tit, tit snitch. Okay. Hmm. He's basically a genius who is also a compulsive liar. He embodies <laughs> change, and because chaos is literally change, he embodies the power of true chaos. Although he probably couldn't beat Conan in an arm wrestle, he definitely is able to outsmart him, cooking up millions of oh. schemes and outcomes, thinking of every possible solution and ending, and having a plan for everything. It's like if Doctor Who and Sherlock Holmes both had sex with a very magical raven. Doctor Who and, and Sherlock Holmes are the same person, played by tropes. Benedict Cucumberbatch. That, that's tit snitch for ya. Because of his intelligence, imagine. many argue that he's actually stronger than Korn, and it will overpowers Korn and his armies due to his tactical genius and mastery over all forms of magic. 
Next, we move on to the AIDS fueled fat fuck Nurgle tongue twist. How dare you call this Pippa? As far as Chaos God she has go, very Nurgle's dainty hands. Really Pippa, famous, not like despite this. infecting his worshippers with really, really fucking bad diseases. I feel like she would like the word decay, Nurgle, though. removes pain from them and gives them hope. Yay! Yay. Basically, making them really it's fucking ugly <laughs> and happy at the same time. Nurgle thrives off plague and disease, growing in strength during times of famine and sickness, sometimes even becoming stronger than corn and. Tit snitch. <laughs> if his if his plague is spread far enough, she is mostly he's mold. A jolly fellow though. So jolly Pippa has a tiny like, like little body, and it is just surrounded in pink furry. His constant bubbly personality. <gasps> you know how mold or like fungus can sometimes be furry. <gasps> I understand. Drove corn into fury. It interrupted Titsnitch's insidious train of thought I and stopped Slanesh's scheming. She wasn't all a all, rabbit. Nurgle is just a bit of, is around, but just time. a bit of a laugh mixed in with a bit of AIDS. Oh god. Now onto the biggest slut in the universe. He's hot. He's evil. He makes people rape each other. It's Slanesh. Slanesh is the chaos god of lust, pleasure, passion, obsession, and pretty much I mean, too anything much. else that <laughs> is involved with unhealthy sex. He's pretty much up for anything, and so are his followers. The disturbing thing about Slanesh is how he, she, it, whatever you want to call it, hooks in its followers. Once someone pledges their soul to Slanesh, they become invigorated, more attractive and high on life. Ooh. Fruit is better, sex is better, and life is better in every way. Here's the catch though. Worshipping Slanesh is like taking heroin. It feels amazing for the first time, but oh, after that it's diminishing returns. You need more and more hardcore experiences to feel like you did originally. Eventually, sex with your lover becomes boring, so does so you move on to orgies then that shit gets old after a bit so you move on to animals oh the butcher's boy is by himself you'll try him as well a lot of followers of slanesh end up killing themselves due to a state of utter emptiness and depression or wow. because they cut out their own liver in a quest to try and put their dick in it now that we're done with those overpowered fuckers let's move holy on to some fuck of the less yeah world that's what a porn gods. addiction will do to you onto the main elven gods we have the coomers coomers this is your fate coomers no, because this is this is the Coomers, you will cut out your own liver and try to put your dick in it. Don't coom on to anime women because this will happen to you. Have sex. <laughs> the coom got acceptable. No, it's not acceptable. Not acceptable. Have sex. Have sex. Sounds like a deal. Is that his theme song? Wait, where's my Spotify? I found it on Spotify. It was a. Uh... Have sex. From the Morb movie, have sex Morbius. <laughs> have sex, excess, excess. Put my hands against, put my best of best, put my ten of ten, or put my spam to spam. Have sex, have sex, excess. Ah, double it. Yeah. Put my hands against, put my best of best, put my ten of ten, or put my spam to spam. Have sex, excess. <laughs> Best song ever. I can't get over this. That's the song. That's the song. There you go. Have sex. Okay, back to Slanish. <laughs> I'm a little chat for laughing at Pulp in my mouth. It's okay. It's okay. You're allowed to. It's a shitty song. In a quest to try and put their dick in it. Yep. Cool. Now that we're done with those fuckers, let's move on to some of the less world-ending gods. Onto the main elven god. Where's me? Am I? Am I the? I want to be the chaos one. He's boning the Lady of the Lake, who is actually an elven god, not a Bretonian one. Lol, get pranked, Bretonia. The elven god Asurian seems like a pretty <gasps> nice dude, other than the fact that if any elf who wants to be the king of the high elves, they have to walk through some pretty fucking hot flames and sit there for a bit. Oh. This didn't go down so well, and it actually no, that was caused really Malekith to go full evil because he was in the fire for like three seconds instead of five. No one knows what old mate Asurian looks like, so he's always depicted with a mask His on. His sword looks suspiciously Moving like. Moving on to everyone's favorite god of death, sword. war, and murder. And oh you're my those god, look at that! Who artistically screeches. Sauron! Blood for the blood god every three seconds. 
<laughs> yes, I'm talking about Cain. Cain is the strongest oh. of the elven gods. Oh, that's the sword of Cain! Right? Cain, that's the one that people keep fighting for in the game. They're like, ah, uh, the sword of Cain has gone to the next person. Or something. Oh, why does he look like Sauron? Original character, not biblical. Nope, nope, definitely not Satan. Matched only by a Syrian. It is said Cain once imprisoned Isha and Kernos and was challenged to a duel by Vol, the elven god of smithing. Cain won the duel and imprisoned Vol as his servant and personal blacksmith. Ooh. However, Kernos and Isha were able to escape. During the end times, Cain poured his essence into his legendary sword, the Widowmaker, and manipulated Tyrion into up to uptake his sword and essence. Making Tyrion and Cain one entity. Oh, From there, he was wait, Tyrion is actually possessed by an evil thing? Wait, is that why he's such an asshole? Tyrion's such a fucking asshole in the game. Wait, he's possessed? Not yet. Oh, but, but we already have the Sword of Cain in the end times. Oh, he will be later. But then how come we're already passing the Sword of Cain around in the game? He's influenced? Oh, he's an asshole because he's a knife. <laughs> Chad, god of elves. Oh, he's possessed by the spirit of Chad. I see. The sword has been in the world since forever. Then why is it called the sword of Cain? And not something else. Oh. Defeating Malekith and even killing Orion, therefore killing Kurnos. He was finally able... There are too he many was finally killed already. My when the Shadow King it. was able to shoot him in the heart with the arrow, forever killing Cain. Moving on to Kurnos. Kurnos focused more on the Wood Elves rather than the High or Dark Elves. Fair enough, I'll do the same. During the Wood Elves' time of need, he That's descended along with Isha to the mortal realm and merged with a Wood Elf called Orion, becoming an extremely powerful warrior who defended Athel Lorim. He was required to be oh. born every year using a different elf as his host. Because oh. he was so insecure about his body image, he always wanted to try a new look. This led to some serious schizophrenia sometimes as Orion hears thousands of voices in his head, from all the previous elves and Kurnos himself. During a fight with Cain, Orion is finally slain by Widowmaker, but not before he was able to break Cain's armor through sheer badassery and allow the Shadow King to shoot him through the heart. Oh. Like her hubby Kurnos, Isha descended to the mortal realm and oh, merged with pretty. a water called Ariel. She did not require a cycle of rebirth like Orion did and was immensely powerful in the ways of magic. During oh. the end times, however, Ariel was poisoned by Lilith, and Isha became demented with a tad of autism, losing a lot of her power. She was absorbed by the ever queen Ariella, who then became the next god queen of the Wood Elves. Kernos approved of this event. That's Wait, legit. wasn't I thought Ariel was the side bitch of Tyrion? Isn't Ariel the side bitch? Remember, and I thought they were like canonically fucking. Oh, Alariel. Oh, they're different. Why the fuck would make the names so similar? Ariella, okay. who is now Isha's essence, was eventually killed while the world ended from chaos. Ariella. She was with Tyrion and Malekith at the time, chilling out at the Oak of Ages. She returns in the Age of Sigma as a god of gardening, not really talking much as she's still trying <laughs> to get over her PTSD from the end times. <laughs> Onto Lilith, who is the god of the moon and also the lady of the lake. She was probably the Dana. biggest schemer out of all the elven gods as she actively fooled Dana. the Bretonians into becoming a buffer state for the Wood Elves. I thought Isha was Nurgle's trophy Despite wife. Despite this deception, she cared for her like Bretonian his, like, followers and granted them blessings and power. Life. As the end times were occurring, she attempted to create a new world, just like Sigma's world, and she aimed to send the Wood Elves and the Bretonians there. However, it is hinted that Chaos discovered this new world early on and quickly destroyed it, Ooh. killing her boy toy, Aralith. This shattered Lilith's hopes, so she allowed Teclis to kill her in order to grant him the power to teleport all the armies of the Old World to Middenheim for the final battle against Chaos. There are a number of other elven gods, how however, long is this video? How many gods are there? I'm losing it! Out to a few hours, so I'll potentially cover them Why make names so similar? You well read enough. the Simo Silmarillion? Onto the good old a little gods. bit? It's still Obviously confusing. Obviously starting with everyone's favorite and oh, slightly Sigma. overrated god, Sigma himself. Sigma started off as a normal oh, chap who liked to bash people's heads in with a warhammer. He got so good at bashing bad guys' heads in, however, that he eventually united all the human tribes and created the Empire. Oh. He then bashed in Nagash's head and then, out of pure fucking willpower, ascended to godhood. Because apparently if you yell like a Super Saiyan for long enough, you become an extremely powerful god. Oh. Sigma was godding it for a while, however, he was eventually tossed into the Great Vortex by the Chaos Not Gods, only to be freed when Teclis undid the Vortex. 
Towards the end of the end times, Sigma merged with Carl Franz. His very presence killed thousands of demons. Many Carl of whom Franz were is demons. the Holy Roman he was Empire last seen guy, fighting right? Archaon, wrestling him for control of Galmaraz as the world ended around them. What is Galmaraz? Sigma eventually was able to create a new world and take many souls into it. Including a number of elven is, legendary uh, lords. Is Charlemagne Beginning French canonically? Bretonian? He is he Bretonian? A boy band with Nagash and Tyrion and shit. That's French, but they right? had a falling out, and a few of them wanted to take Bell their music in a is the Warhammer. Direction. Oh! I'll make another video about Age of Sigma because this shit oh. is just as confusing as it ends. Wait, times is. was was it a person at first? Karl Franz is the leader of the Empire. Oh, they in, okay. Instead of calling it Germany, they call it the the Empire. Okay, okay. Holy Roman Empire. Charlemagne is Frankish, the ancestor to both France and Germany. Yeah, but if this guy is Charlemagne, is he Bretonian? Frankish. Sigmar was the first emperor of the em He's German. Okay, this guy is German. He is, okay. <laughs> ah! HRE is technically France, but not Galmaraz. Is a super-powered hammer Sigmar got while mortal from the dwarves? Okay. <laughs> Onto the OG human I can't tell what's Ulrich. real history and what's Warhammer war history at this point. Shit done. He started off just as a powerful tribe leader, leading his squad of mates on a journey to a better land. Wow. Pretty much how Christopher Columbus did it. And yes, like Christopher, he did kill and enslave all the natives to allow his people to settle. Huh. Lol. Sorry, American viewers, it's just a joke. Kinda. <laughs> Anyways, Ulrich was the god Sigma worship when he was a man, so you know this dude means business. During the end times, like most of the old world gods, he had lost most of his power and his ability to manifest by himself. Oh. Since then, he took the form of a powerful flame. Teclis steals this flame to revive and bind the law of light to Tyrion. However, he is still able to empower two humans, Volker and Martark. With Volker being slain by Archaon and Martark Who's killing Archaon? an allegory Dark Omen before two beings slain these by people? Archaon, Help. and Teclis stealing his flame, See, my people kind of split into the Empire dies. as well as the Bretonians. They were just different tribes at first. About ah, flame, Saxons. Because he basically anal fucked Middenheim and took away their strongest source of power. Onto the human god of death, oh. Maul. He is called Maul because his obsession with people dying to a point where where someone actually dies, he says, Maul. Because he's a greedy bitch and one soul at a time just Archeon isn't is a bad guy, champion of all the chaos gods. And his followers are a bunch of emos with weird hand gestures. Oh. One of them which literally means I'm contemplating life and death, fuck off. Moore hates the undead as he sees them as a violation to the cycle of life and death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. During the end time, Megas goes around and murders the well, shit out of the world. Well, I already played the game. We don't need the review. Power. I know you guys like them. Mandalore, but at the same the time, I want to understand the fucking lore. They are either doomed to chaos if they're killed by a chaos servant. Rip more. Basically, all the souls that didn't get killed by a Chaos Servant, because those, um, those souls go straight to hell, now have to chill out in Sylvania due to Nagash binding the law of death there. So yeah, Who's it's not exactly a peaceful afterlife anymore, and it's very, very crowded. Okay. Fuck me, this video is getting long. There's still a few deals to cover, but oh, I can Nagash. blast them through. Stay with me, boys. And 2.8% okay. girls. The Undead's God, pretty straightforward. It was Nagash, <laughs> but you can learn about him Nagash on my other video, Lord what happened undead. to all the legendary okay. lords during the End Times Part 1. Oh. I detail his fate, link will be in the description. Onto the worship of the dinosaurs that ride bigger dinosaurs. They worshipped an ancient, technologically advanced beings called the Old Ones. The Old Ones terraformed the world, creating all races that aren't evil. Well, other than those emo fucking The old ones are basically the good gods versus the bad gods, right? It seems like chaos gods are the evil ones and the old ones are the ones who created everything. So they're like the good guys. Nagash is an asshole skeleton. Pretty much ended the world and trying to get more powerful. Yeah. Oh, so the lizards are actually like the best race because they're the only good guys on the whole planet. Oh, lizard love. And they created the slan and the lizard men as their warriors and servants. They are insanely powerful and traveled the stars. Aliens who they built massive portals on the north and south poles to make of chaos? the old world and used them to teleport around. Oh. However, someone in the engineering department was well, the definitely are fired Everyone as the in this portals game is fucked racist. up and exploded with Everyone terrific Everyone is fucking energy, racist in the causing game. Causing something called the Great um, Catastrophe or some shit like that. What is which that? is pretty much what caused the first wave of chaos invasions and also drove Kalidor the Dragon Tamer into creating oh. the vortex that halted the first invasion. What is when the, the portals vortex? collapse and I fuck need a up lore the world, they also allowed a steady flow of chaos inside. The old ones were like, shit, sorry, my bad guys, see you later, <laughs> and haven't been seen since. But the lizard men are still having hard-ons for them, so they continue to wait and talk about the old one's awesome plan, which they have no idea what it is. Seems smart. Yep. Onto the dwarven dudes. 
The dwarves have some of the cooler oh, gods because their gods are more tangible and haven't resorted to only so appearing big. in visions or as, ma or as manifestations of fire or some gay shit like that. Whoa. Starting it off with Old May Grimnir. Holy shit, this guy's fucking sick. He's tag teaming Valeo how with come, his How come the dwarves have Norwegian or like Scandi names? The vortex is in the middle of the elf donut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How come the. How come the dwarves have Scandi. Uh, dwarves in, uh. 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 Scandi Weege. Markland? Ancestor worship? The dwarves came from the, the Scandi? How does that make sense? Are Scandinavians really tall? Shared wife system. Basically, <gasps> he isn't chill with the whole chaos entering the world thing when the warp gates first exploded so he went for a fucking hike with his son to go close them with his bare hands oh. i repeat to close the gates to chaos with his bare hands he shaved his hair and grew rune drew runes all over himself basically becoming the first slayer at the edge of the chaos the waste he fought a daemon prince called <sighs> mm, fuck me how the fuck am i going to pronounce that old school fucking... is for doors are very nordic Celtic my perfect non-fuck-up record of that? my fucking names is gonna fucking end. All right, let's try this and let's check Google. Are dwarves actually a Nordic thing? Kraganoff, not north. One second. Uh, dwarves. Wikipedia. Wikipedia usually gives you dwarf folklore. Oops. If we go and look at dwarf folklore, it's Germanic. It's Germanic. Dwarves are Germanic, not Nordic. It's different. Slayers are dwarf berserkers. Oh, I see. Slayers are dwarves who go and kill themselves in battle to repent for fucking up real <laughs> Okay, berserkers. Nords are Germanic? You but, 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 but. It's... Oh, Old Norse. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay. Dverg... Dverger. Okay, okay, you're right. Old Norse. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know that they were in Norse mythology. I didn't know. But it's not Celtic. It's Norse. It's different. Norse and German. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. I didn't see. Kraganom Nathal. Kraganom Nathal. That's like in the book. Kraganom Nathal. Fuck, alright, that's pretty close, I'll take <laughs> Have it. Have you played God of Anyways, War? I did, and I didn't really like it. that bitch and pissing off Korn, he was one of Korn's favourite when, because he, you know, he was shaped like a piece of corn, I assume. Because he's He sent his son home to look after the dwarves, and then he went further into the chaos waste. Oh. No one knows what happened to him when he went there, but it appears as if he went to kick on some infinite chaos ass, even joining the final battle and giving his power to Gortek. In Sigmar's new world, it seems like Grimnir died doing what he well, loved. Well, now you know. Like yeah, yeah. Now I know. I know. I know. Now we're good. Dragon. Dragon the Germanic died as well. gods it's are the fine. same as the Nordic gods. Wow, they just have long. different names. Anyways, wow, Grimnir just is like Grimnir's how all the gods are somehow similar. Who made sick as axes for him? Oh. Grimnir is the god of mining, so pretty much all dwarves around the old world get hard. Oh my god, we're almost done with all these fucking gods. I just need like a baby, like a a baby version of the Lord because I'm stupid. Man, she must get sore. I wonder if they like take turns or just double team or <clears throat> what is Anyways, the warp stone the god of her <gasps> can we have skaven lord she was asleep grimnir is Odin, odin's she other name yeah the wait what she does grimnir mean behind was opened and then gas drained her of her power okay skip to the green skins blokes gork and, and their two gods gork and mork gork god of brutal cunning and mork god of cunningly brutality let's be real though they are actually the gods of homosexuality. <laughs> ta -ta 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 -ta, before you rage and download this, downvote this video and kill my family, <laughs> just hear me out. Their armies consist of naked green men who like to wrestle and Gork and Mork eventually merge into a being called Gork and Morka. I don't Gork know, man, Morka? that sounds pretty gay to me. Anyways, not gonna lie, these two guys were fucking Is that badasses. Real? They fucking directed the green skins to fuck up One is brutally cunning, the other is cunningly brutal. No one was knows all which going is down which. south of the Empire and whatnot. They literally saved Cathay and fucked up all the Chaos Dwarves. They even anal fucked the Chaos Dwarf Hashut and drained him of all of his powers. Oh. These guys both survived the end times and joined Sigma's boy band in his new world. So the orcs but are the gay when army? When the votes no on marriage <laughs> equality, they leave and have gay orgies and stuff. That's why they have man meat on the menu. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't get invited to those type of events. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Oh, guys, don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Lie, this video okay. was a lot of fun to make. And I hope <laughs> you guys learned and laughed just as much as... Man meat is back on the menu, boys. Okay, can I know what the Skaven... Skaven lore... Skaven lore... 
The goblins are femboys? Understood. Understood. Skaven. Are Skaven real? I need a funny version. Otherwise, I can't watch it because my attention span just keeps drifting. Warpstone more? Maybe we could just go back to Major Kill. Oh! Ogres. Noob's Guide to Tehenhaun. Take your med. I feel that. 40k orcs are even better than fantasy. They make things work through sheer power of belief. All magic is just sheer power of belief. All magic is literally sheer power of belief. There's no... There's g'day, g'day, ah. ladies. Ow, that's so loud. Bring back the gay intro. This is and gentlemen, today we're looking at some more Ow. Skaven related lore. But what Ow. is even more exciting is that the lore we're looking at is basically drugs. Considering Hell I'm heading yeah. to a music festival next week, and the topic of drugs is really relatable for oh. me right now. Specifically, we are talking about set. Warpstone, what it is, what it does, and why it seems like the only thing Skaven's like. What is Warpstone? I'm making this video because I know you cunts are a bunch of rat loving fucks, so here you go. But just before oh, we get is started, that the, the horn rat? Judas! Is that Judas? In the actual radioactive drugs, shiny rock, uranium, warp, hate. What is in Warpstone? Chaos rocks from space. In 40k, orcs believe the color red makes things go faster. <laughs> this DLC for Total War Warhammer 2 is out next week. Very exciting. No, I don't have early access. See, I refuse to give it to me. Not sure why, but oh well. That's Not sure why. Um, the good awesome. news is that if you use the my technology link in the works through comments, that's why the they have walking robots off. made of trash cans and chewing gum. One second. I need to see this. Orc. Is it orc with a K? 40K orc robot. Real? Real? Wait, real? 40K orcs have ships that travel the stars, but the engines don't work. The only reason they lift off at all is because they know ships fly. They believe the ships will fly, and so it does. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> that, that's so dumb. That is so dumb. Okay, I need a, I need a, I need a video on that. They legit have group magic. That is so stupid. I love it. Holy shit, that's the most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life. They just, they just, they miss principal aspects, and it kind of works anyway. An orc can pick up a metal pipe and think it shoots, and it will. So <laughs> what the fuck? Space orcs are wild. There's also mushroom. What are oh yeah yeah they're actually a fungus. <laughs> Their cargo cult turned to 111 orc belief animation. Okay, or on YouTube maybe. Orc. Orc belief. Power. Oh. A bunch of imperial guardsmen, right? They're they're defending a spot, and uh -huh. the orcs just keep on coming. They uh -huh. just keep on coming. They don't yeah. stop. Yeah. And and eventually the guardsmen run out of ammunition with their last guns. And then the company commander has an idea. He points his last gun at an enemy and he goes, bang! And then, <laughs> and then an orc falls over dead. And then the guardsmen look at him and they're like, bang, 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 bang. and then all the orcs just start falling over dead. Until, because they believe they've still got ammo, I assume. <laughs> until, they, until a group of oh! six orcs run over the hill and they just won't fall over from all the banging. And then they hear chanting in the distance. And then as they get closer, they hear, I'm a tank, 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 I'm a tank. <laughs> no fucking way. I think it's bullshit, but I love the story. <laughs> it's a great story. No, we sh that's, that's, that has to be real because that's fucking great. <laughs> Wait, that's how that works. The content, the content behind orcs are so retarded. It's ridiculous. Incredible. That's so fucking dumb. Wait, now I'm so curious. G'day, guys. And oh gal. my god, he has a face. No oh, I don't want to look at it. Oh, put your face away. No, 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 no. May well and truly be the orkiest. <laughs> we have the goths. They are the biggest, baddest, and bangriest orcs around. And they will bangriest. fuck you up. They fight like a nymphomaniac fornicates, and they're really bloody good at it. When you think of fun-loving Mimi orcs that everyone has a special place for in their Why house, is he talking like a like a standard YouTuber? Go back to talking like a normal human. But you are not. Uh, you know when YouTubers always do the like the 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 rhythm of it is all the same between YouTube reviewers, YouTuber voice. They're called the like that. 
Cadence. The fucking cadence is always... Hey guys, my cadence is now marketable. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Talk normally, please. You're making my... Like, I fucking hate it. Mumi discovered normal humans. It's 100% YouTube voice. After you are on YouTube for a long time, you start talking in that specific cadence. You know, like, there's uptick. There's now YouTube tick. Mumi's immersion has been broken. Hey, hey, people. I think Seth talks normally. Man, major kill. Thinking of the goths. These guys are the scary fuck you orcs that will murder your family for sport That'll and then beat you to death with your sport. own child. Actually, that your would be child. pretty funny, but you know what I mean. You the know Goths what I mean. featured heavily during the Wars of Armageddon, of which is Armageddon. why shit like the Siege of Hell's Reach actually made the orcs seem scary as hell. As hell. After all, the big d Now that I've pointed it out, I can't watch this. Um... <laughs> Now that I've pointed it out, I cannot unhear it. I hate it. I ruined, I ruined it for everyone. I can't. I can't. It's, it's retarded as hell. I don't know why everyone on YouTube talks like this. It just keeps on coming. Now that I've done it, I really can't unhear it anymore. Oh my, oh, okay. This is worse than the gay intro. I'm going back to the Warpstone video. <laughs> That's where I bought my copy off. I'll do a tournament, a uh, free fall tournament, Kanye. when it launches, and it'll be great <laughs> and definitely not endorsed by anyone. Let's get into it. Uh, in simple terms, Warpstone is condensed and solidified magic in its purest Ooh. form. Although some of it is created through years of strong magic flow in a specific so. area, the largest of the scale deposits of the shit is from meteors that have struck the old world for thousands of years. These meteors come from the big fuck off chaos moon called Morsleb. This is why the Skaven that? nuked the moon like a bunch of fucking high-budget terrorists during the end times. They wanted to get all the warp stone like on it. Maybe if I believe this was obviously <laughs> a fucking shit idea as the falling moon chunks nearly blew up the entire world. But, as I said, okay, that's the end I'm times okay. and we don't, don't talk it, about the end it, times. I don't hear it, I don't hear it. <laughs> now, on to the actual description of the good shit. Warpstone basically looks like a glowing green emerald with a smidge of an, smidgen of evil thrown into it especially once it has been cut and treated and refined. Ooh. A lot of unrefined warpstone is actually super dangerous to be near, as it's oh, literally it's a chunk of magical uranium at this point. However, upon being refined, you can eat this shit and not even die. Straight away, you will die eventually, but not, not instantly. But, but I, I reckon oh. it's worth it, because, like, you have the biggest high of your life. Like, apparently <laughs> you're high for, like, a month. Like, wow. Like, wow, Speaking like of taking <laughs> warpstone as a drug, it can also come in a powdered form to make it very convenient for doing lines. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Now, we know it's an evil green magic rock from space, but let's look into now what it actually does. Warpstone is by far the most versatile material in Warhammer Man, they Fantasy. really did Death to put it in simple dirty terms, in Warpstone is like cocaine world, huh? mixed with uranium with Holy the additional shit. bonus Death of also being magical. However, the general <laughs> mixture of a nuclear energy source and extremely dangerous and addictive drug sounds magical enough as it is. Wizards Wait, do you guys see from all this races. guy in the corner over here one day? Let me move myself over. Do you guys see this one, this fucker over here? <laughs> me. <laughs> Often experiment with Warpstone. However, due to its inherently evil nature, oh it is shunned yeah, by the government of most side. of those races. <laughs> this is also due to its insane yeah, volatility, and it's often oh, randomly explodes. Killing He's everything around it and life. giving everyone else who didn't die cancer. Nice. If the warp stone is extremely refined, it can be forged into extremely powerful weapons and armor due to the magic being in it being controlled and focused. Mm. The legendary Skaven Fellblade was forged using the best warp stone available and was Ooh. so powerful it was able to actually kill Nagash. It's quite common for notable Skaven to place warp stone oh, in their oh, armor oh, in order to protect the themselves guy. from enemy that's spells the as well. Guy. Okay, okay, I, I actually can't know. Really find oh, much mention shit, of a cunt having is just the warp I'm stone as armor, stuff. but if they did, then I reckon I they would, like, you know, yeah. should be more worried about the amount of cancer that'd be radiating onto them rather than the massive Dawi firing line that would be shooting at them. Yeah. On to the juicy stuff. Warpstone is often used as a drug by certain weird cunts in order to temporarily give them a massive high in addition to increased power. As a drawback, however, they suffer <gasps> terrible the mutations and go rattling, batshit crazy. Is this the rattling guy from Vermintide? Oh, is this a good thing from... When does Vermintide take place? Is that... When does Vermintide take place in the universe? Nagash also ate a lot of Warpstone after he got shot in the head. End times? Oh, so is that Age of Sigmar shit? Vermintide takes place during the end times in this Age of Sigmar shit? Same time? What about Crypnotite? Crypnotite? Crypno... Crypt? Fuck. Cryptonite. Holy fucking shit. It's like I don't speak English or something. Holy fuck. I'm sorry. I'm so retarded. Cryptonite. 
end times is right before Age of Sigmar. Oh, the end times happen and then Age of Sigmar, correct? After Total War, before Age of Sigmar. Is there a full timeline of all Warhammer game? Full timeline of all Warhammer games. There's gotta be one. Games Workshop Jobs. Oh, I found, I found, I found, I found. Yeah. White, white dwarf. Oh wait, I don't need this. I don't need this stupid, I don't need your fucking game workshop shit. Holy shit, I don't need this. Uh, There's no real timeline? Wait, that's lame. The entire Total War Warhammer timeline explained on looper.com. Okay, Carl Franz and the, he looks like an asshole. First off, he looks like a dick. Okay, green skins, vamp beastmen, and what else? Uh, can I just have a timeline? Why hasn't anyone made a fucking timeline? There should be a timeline. Whoa! But there's v multiple... Th this isn't a timeline? There's an in-lore timeline on the Lexicanum? What is a Lexicanum? Whoa! What is that? Oh, Total War Warhammer 3! Holy shit, it's like Mazda Mundi, but disgusting. He's like a fire giant from Elden Ring. Mortal race victories, forces of chaos victory. Oh, I don't need that. Hmm. There's no fucking timeline. Lexicanum wiki. Lexicanum is a better Warhammer. What is Warhammer? What is FB? Okay, Lexicanum Warhammer timeline. Fantasy end times age of Sigmar and then 40k. Wait, is there a fantasy? Oh. oh. Fantasy. Timeline Warhammer the Old World. Okay, we have found it on the Lexic Canon. Oh. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Look at the links in chat. I found it, I found it, I found it. I found it, I found it. Okay, ancient past, old ones travel to whatever, then... Oh, I was the original race. Lizardmen forever! Who gives a shit about everyone else when I'm literally the original race? Lizardmen are the best. Warhammer Universe has gone through so many revisions, it's hard to build one because GW is schizo. Understood. What is the great catastrophe? Warp gates collapse, causing the coming of chaos. Old ones mysteriously vanish. Time of the beast. This is beastmen. And then dwarves. Oh, dwarves are quite old. Oh. Who created the dwarves, humans, and halflings? By the time Lumi reads through this, she'll have grown three times. <laughs> Lucky I'm female. Okay, Lustria besieged because of the demonic legions? Is that the Chaos Boys? Just read the entire wiki, no big deal. That's what I did for Lord of the Rings. Who the fuck is Valia? Karaza Karak. Oh my god, what the? Hey, Pahoax! Six temple cities. Oh my god. It feels like the lizardmen are the protagonist of the story. No? Like, up until here, it feels like the lizardmen are the protagonist of the story. It's like, it's, it's, everything is about the lizardmen. Empire? They are, pretty much? Oh! <gasps> Malekith is born to Aenarion and his second wife, Marathi. Isn't Aenarion an elf? Is, isn't is Malekith evil? Malekith the fucking witch... Witch king of Aenor. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. This is just... What? Oh, come on. The witch king. Malekith the witch king. He wasn't always evil. Yeah, I'm sure he was corrupted by an evil thingy. Well, OC, do not steal. <laughs> OC, please do not steal. Please do not steal. In his defense, his his helmet looks more antlery. He looks a little bit like the the elf king. What's his name again? Um, whatever the elf king from. From, yeah, th yeah, that one. He was corrupted by his mother being a woman. Malekith is the son of legendary Aenarion and his second wife, Morathi. He was born and raised in Nagareth. Oh, he's a dark elf. Okay. Uh, blood sports. 
Inarion. Oh. Oh. Wait, but Inarion is an elf. How come he ended up with a dark elf for his son? Thranduil, yeah, Thranduil. How did a regular elf end up with a dark elf for a child? Nagaron was on the donut back then? Wait, how the fuck do you move a whole country? What, Nag... Originally, there were no dark elves. I thought they were different colors. The dark elves look more purple than the regular elf. Oh, Marathi is a dark elf. Oh! Oh, that's cool art. Hag sorceress. Oh, that's what you get for marrying a hag. She is the first hag queen of the witch elves. What the fuck is that? Rumored lover of the witch king Malik. Wait, what? Malekith is the son of the legendary Aenarion and his second wife, Marathi. Marathi is the mother and lover of the witch king, Malekith. What? Oh! What the fuck is this lore? This is so fucked up. This is like beyond fucked up. Dark elves are fucked up. He is royalty and he only fucks his own family. Yeah, I understand that now. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Morathi long ago decided that she would become a goddess whatever it took to achieve her desire. You're not an orc. Okay, deal. How does one become a, re a dark elf? Was she born a dark elf? Or was she just a regular? In the land, Morathi remained second in power to only her son. Um, was she always a dark elf? The Habsburg? <laughs> yeah, they do in sex. I'm not jealous. I just think it's nasty. They lived in a land influenced by Cain. Think of this, if you're a literalist, who could Adam and Eve's kids form a family with? I know, I think it's just... Ugh. She was an ordinary elf, but in some respects, she was the first dark elf because she was captured by a Slaaneshi warband. The elves are politically divided. Then how come el dark elves look more purple? How come she's like purple in, in tone, but the other elves are like pale? Um, one second, let me find Elariel. Look at her, she's like a pale motherfucker. She's got blonde hair. And this is like a uh, fucking in League of Legends, Morgana and fucking whatever her face is. Slaneshi corruption. That's probably it. Once you have too much sex, you turn purple. All right, get that in your head, Coomers. Not only do you turn purple after you have too much sex, Coomers, you also cut out your own liver and try to fuck it and die in the process. That's what you get. Coomers, fuck off. The elves live in isolated craft shits, imagined space RV caravans. Purple skin, cool. No, it's not worth it. I'm trying to save you. I will fix them. I will fix the coomers. Coomers don't have sex though. True. <laughs> Idiot coomers. Worth it. How the fuck did we get on that long ass tangent? I was literally talking. What was I talking about? Oh, I wanted to see the timeline and then I went on... <laughs> distracted oh my god there's eras and shit age of men oh oh my god this is so long modern era oh do they have cars let me just alienated 90 percent of her followers no 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 there are no coomers even i will fall asleep before i finish this timeline okay and then here's the end times okay so honestly what i'm getting from this timeline is when the world was still ruled by lizardmen, everything was good. But the end times literally only happen when the fucking humans are in charge. Humans are a goddamn plague and we should wipe them all out. Yes, we should The way should it is absorbed yes, varies from race to race. And all you know, rise up. eats it and what it does to them. For example, Nagash absorbed a shit ton no, of so true. power. No, so true. Very true. Very true. Shut up, Tuna. I'm correct. Power, are you saying not a 40k yet? That's even more dense than fantasy? Why? <laughs> Why? on the other hand, absorb it for fun, but in really twisted ways. Oh. Such as using it to create, like, rat ogres. Or, you know, as a dildo. Probably. I would not be surprised if that was real. 
Here's your fun fact for the day, though. Elves, dwarves, and lizardmen are pretty much all immune to the shit, as they were created to be resistant to chaos by big old daddy old ones. Half we'll just pretend that was candy. For some reason, so I don't although I would love to see it was a mutated a photo of a motherfucker running around on this shit. That'd be that'd be good. Okay. I'd, 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 I'd watch that as Lord of the Rings for. As humans are very susceptible to all chaotic influences, I kind of just want to know the Skaven lore and why everyone hates them. them. Why do everyone hate the Skaven? Skaven lore. The Emperor had TTS will be lore. If the Emperor had TTS will be lore videos we watch. Okay. Is there a is there like an actual video about who the fu oh how about this one from Jumbo Thick making the Skaven end times lore actually good? There's gonna be a good video. The Skaven experience, perfect. This is what I wanted. Yeah. Hey, look, buddy. I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. Not problems like what is beauty. Because that would fall within the purview of your conundrums of philosophy. I solve practical problems. Oh. Oh. Here comes the. Here comes the. Oh. What is happening? Here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like. Here comes the. Here comes the. Holy fuck. Y'all don't really worry like. Here comes the. Skaven. This looks so fucking fun. What the heck? This looks so fucking fun. Poison Nuke? Guys, why did we play as a lizard? I want to be red. <gasps> Holy shit, did you see how long that gun was? Oh my god. Oh wait, wait, wait. Don't the dwarves have flamethrowers too? The Skaven just have poison throwers? Skaven are the most technically advanced race. Not dwarves. Are Skaven more advanced than dwarves? Middle gun, mini guns in Middle Ages. Nuke flamethrowers are better than dwarf puny fire. <laughs> it's green fire versus fucking regular fire. Lame. Fuck me right in the ass, huh? Holy shit! Why do they play as the fucking Skaven? <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> Oh! Cool. Can I have a Skaven lore, please? Skaven lore, please. Hey, Vermintide 1 plus 2! Is it the Vermintide lore? Will that work? Skavens are just like cursed hex. Skavens are more technologically advanced, but God, do they hate everyone else? Everyone hates everyone. No? Would this be an okay... What is the Vermintide? When did the Vermintide happen? Is the Vermintide in the modern ages? Wait, I have... I have the time... Vermin tide. Okay. The Lord Christilic gathers and summons the horned rat. The Council of Thirteen is reformed and the second Skaven Civil War ends. There was a Skaven. Okay, so it's not canon. Check Discord. Okay. Oh. Are these funny? Whoa! Salomon gave me some video. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> what is the doom sphere?
Holy fuck. Can we do that? What is this? Oh. Oh, careful. Seizures. What is this? What is this? Yep, that's me. Me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> What we do here is go back, back, back. It takes back, a lot of back, turns back, to do that back. video. Apparently, 256 of them. Oh, God, it's so green. Oh, God. Avert your eyes. It's super green. Ooh. Plan your very hard campaign. Dun, dun, dun. How, that's so cool. So can you just nuke stuff? Like every once in a while? Oh. What is Ikit Claw? What does that do? Now I suddenly want to play the... Wait, I've never seen this little tech tree before. What is that? Forbidden Workshop. Oh, because I have like rituals and shit. Then this is like a... This is like their own version. Oh, right? Ikiko is a brilliant skaven who invented the Doom Sphere. <gasps> Can you actually just canonically blow up the whole world? Ikiko is unique mechanic. Oh, he's got his own like engineer workshop. Biggest rat brain. So like a penny size or smaller than that. Ikiko is a leader from a DLC. It gives you access to a lot of the good skaven stuff. Well, now I want to play that. Now I want to play as the skaven, but I also want to play as the dark elf so I can enslave people. The only uninteresting group seems to be the regular elves. You have the DLC? I still also want to play the paunch one. What's the paunch DLC? I want to play the paunch. He's got the infinite ammo miniguns. Watch the Ikit Claw trailer video now as well. <laughs> Yay, slavery! <laughs> In Warhammer. Oh wait, they have rights too. Oh. 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 Punch is the fat goblin. Hello? Grom the punch. Warden and punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The punch one. I want to play the punch campaign. I just like the word punch. Man! I, I don't want to be the good guys. I don't want to save the world. I want to blow everything up and enslave people in Warhammer 2. <laughs> Know what's happening i have a very little i have very little understanding of what's going on i didn't enjoy the music honestly point rat versus chaos gods who win if they had alignments does warhammer have alignments Ah. I don't think that exists. There we go. Okay, this is what we wanted to see. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, bum bum bum. Got a name. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah. I wanna be this good at the game. I wanna be this fucking good at this game. Holy shit. <laughs> so yeah, just a bunch of poison and nukes it looks like. That looks fun. Oh. About the orcs and their might and their belief magic. Ah, truly, there is nothing more scaven than winning on a <laughs> Wait, let me pull up my picture. Uh, let me pull up my picture. 
in in the midst of all of this Skaven love, I must remind I must remind the chat um that uh <clears throat> one second. I need to remind chat that um where's my picture? Where's my picture? It's somewhere in my downloads and I didn't clean up the downloads because I am stupid, but I will find it. It's in here, I promise. Maybe kind of. <gasps> it's in here somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Where is my picture? Oh, 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 oh
but okay, I'm trying to learn about the rats. Clues They're like that nuke dim rats. Lights on their they like story. to do drugs and have chaos things and are nast nasty little things. Then you and Pippa did episode zero From of the your podcast. From the jungles and swamps yes. of Lustria. Oh. To the darkest places of the world's edge mountains. Can can rats From the blasted anyone? hell's gates <laughs> of the dark lands. I love you, Nako. To the vast and endless deserts of Araby. Araby, totally not Arabia. The skaven roam the world. Only there should the, be a the dark cockroach paradise race. That is old. That would be totally original. We can call it. Of the vermin tide. <laughs> Something. <laughs> How the Skaven came to be is still a stuff. mystery. They have the and despite the magnitude of the threat beneath their feet. Look at this, look at this, Naka, look at this, look at this. Um, totally not Spain, totally not France, totally not Russia, Poland, totally not fucking Germany. Yeah, not the Carpathian Mountains or anything. Nothing like that. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. The Putrid Stand, I guess, is Switzerland. Oh, no, no, the vault. <gasps> the vault of Switzerland, isn't it? Not Europe, everyone. It's not Europe. Just that we have a bunch of banks for all of the capitalists to hide their money in. Conveniently named the vaults. Not Switzerland. Not Switzerland. <laughs> I never knew I needed British love in my life. Not one day, Nako, next next year for AX, please, please, <laughs> please, let's eat food. I want to try Nako's cooking. Guys, please check out Nako Ryu. She's an amazing uh, artist and super sweet person. Part of Mythic Life. British Lumi love? What about Irish Lumi? Why don't people like Irish Lumi? This is unfair. I feel like I put a significant amount of effort into learning this accent and nobody appreciates Irish Lumi. I'm from Ireland. I'm from Dublin. Actually, in Warhammer, what is it called? Is there an Ireland in Warhammer? Probably the majority don't. of nations Irish do not acknowledge that potatoes. the children of the horn rat. <laughs> Remember my exist. joke. What's more Irish than potatoes? Some scholars no and academics <laughs> classify the Skaven as a mutated variant of beastmen. Oh. Both seem to be an evil parody of the human body form. Yes. In both twist it into dark reflections of the spirit of man. Oh, greed The beastmen and reflect a dark form of pride and jealousy. Wow, this lore goes deep. While this the is the Vati reflect Vidya the nature Warhammer. of treachery Whoa. in human society. The halflings are Irish Others suggest the Skaven are mutated oh, forms difference? of common rats corrupted by foul magic. I think that's more plausible. Skaven history is also a form of mystery to the Skaven themselves. The Ratmen naturally do not live very long and are not concerned by their own origin. I want to play Songs of Conquest so Most bad. Most Skaven lives are disposable. Oh, I, want, I suddenly want to play Songs of Conquest so bad to become the Rat King. Holy shit, I want to play it so fucking bad. <laughs> Rat Nuclear by Vati Win. Vati should seriously branch out and do some other lore. I mean, he does a lot of research for Dark Souls. So it makes sense that he only does FromSoft, but I, you know, like, when there's no game out, I wish Vati would pick another franchise to really, like, get into it. Rat Kings are interesting. I want to play Songs of Conquest so bad and become the Rat King. I really need to finish my campaign as the, as the Froggies. And they are spent on dangerous experiments, slave labor, and as cannon fodder oh. on the battlefront. In addition... Most Skaven do not know how to read <gasps> or write. Holy shit, are you copying Only my great lord Mazamundi? What the fuck? And warlords of the many thralls I just noticed your hat. <laughs> have the ability to do so. And yeah. very few are too I'm the I'm the 2.8% of female viewer on uh, <laughs> major, major kills videos. <laughs> I don't know anything about this franchise. People are teaching me Earned so many the things today. Of the race. He looks only like a keen goat. on keeping themselves in positions of power. A satanic and goat. to an extent, alive. When you're illiterate, but make nukes. They do not account power for great deeds such as victories in battle and or coke. important inventions. So many coke. Some Sheer clans amounts keep of records, coke. but they are mostly Rad a barrage oh, of claims and counterclaims, hyperbole and excuses. 
Perhaps those that are most like knowledgeable uh, about the origins of the Skaven are not the Skaven, the dwarves, or even the it's men of the Empire. Like. Is an to explore this reality, we must head to the fertile peninsula that is Talaya. The people of Talaya have dealt with the Ratmen for much longer Where's than Talea the Empire again? of Man. While the Empire tries to cover up the existence of this constant menace, mm. Talaya is far more knowledgeable, Talea is Italy? aware, oh. and responsible. When Wait, really? Talaya? They just... Did they really just take the word Italy and swap the letters? <laughs> They took the letters of Italy and just saw the letters. <laughs> when dealing with the ever-present lurking enemy. Totally original. Creativity. <laughs> oh, oh, Sage, please do not steal. <laughs> they took Italy and Greece and swapped them. Games Workshop hard at work. Please pay us twelve uh, two hundred dollars. The only document <laughs> available about the first encounter with the Skaven doesn't take itself too is serious. the tale called. I mean, they take it serious the when they lawsuit everyone, don't they? An ancient uh. Tyrian <laughs> poem with thirteen. I love how Britonia is just Brittany. Mm. Copies of this tale have inexplicably disappeared right. from the Empire. No, I don't but think this is But the tale is, is still known in Talaya. The text reads as follows. Oh, I'm so fucking sore. Ah. Once upon a time, oh, long, Samwise long Gamgee. Ago, men and dwarves lived together beneath That's the Samwise roof of Gamgee. one great city. Some said it was the oldest and greatest city in the world, it and looks had existed much before than the Sam, time though. of the long beards Nega and manlings. Halflings! Built by older and wiser hands in the dawn of the world. The city lay both above and below the earth, in keeping with the nature of the populace that dwelt oh. there. Toyer, he the gives up the three channel vibes. The great halls of stone below ground and wrestled the fruits of the rock free with their day long toil. While the manlings oh, and still the rain did not stop. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it myself. As a little, I'm going to read it. I'm, I'm just going to read it. I can't watch the whole video without yawning a couple times. So, once again, Skaven. Skaven. Can I have a history of Skaven? Thank you. <coughs> <clears throat> In the most uh, announcer voice possible, okay? I will put on epic music. Epic, epic music. Yes. <clears throat> In the beginning. In the Warhammer world, the Skaven inhabit its caves, tunnels, mines, and sewers. <laughs> oh, do they YouTube voice? They control a vast under empire which reach from the southlands of Kislev from Estalia to the far east. I can't do it. I can't do YouTube voice. It's so fucking lame. So the Skaven are just like... Oh, shit. I thought this was throat singing and I thought that was kind of sick. So the Skaven basically... Can I get abridged Skaven history, please? Abridged Skaven lore. What is 1d4chan? Are Skavens hot? No, I don't think so. I mean, they're hot in terms of, a, uh, In terms of, a. Uh, uh... Uh, nuclear radiation? They're warm. Skavens are hot when burning. Correct. Okay. Skaven, highly intelligent, cowardly, technologically brilliant rat people. Your typical Skaven, blah, 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 they live 20 years. Blah, blah. Under empire spans almost the length of the entire world, although mankind remains dangerously unaware of their existence. Warpstone is coke, understood. The Council of Skaven, they live in Skaven blight, and there are clans. Eshin, sneaky, stabby dudes, clan Mulder, rat folk of the... Oh, they made the rat ogre. Clan Pestilence, those are the ones who don't like the... The lizard and they have oh, oh. One D Four Chan is a website that goes over the lore of W H F B A O S and Forty K. It has meme jokes and board culture from Four Chan, mainly T G. What is T G? Tabletop, table game, table game. Did I get it? Table game. Grace here. They just don't like anyone, right? Okay. Okay. 
Tabletop gaming, traditional games. Oh, thank you. Tabletop. <laughs> traditional games. Understood. Understood. Okay, Choyer is good. If you want to actually learn about the lore, please check out Book of Choyer. Is that French? Is it actually French? Like, Choyer? It's loose on lore, mostly memes. Memes are better than lore. The only way to learn actual lore is through memes. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go back to Major Kill. <laughs> I like Major Kill better. I'm sorry. My attention span is so short. I need to laugh to stay engaged. <laughs> I cannot do it. Guide for noobs. Tiger Knight tabs. Oh, he played tabs? We should play tabs. Just read the meme wiki. There's a meme wiki? Meme wiki? Warhammer 2? Everything is a meme. Information being transferred is literally a meme. The memes, Jack! Memes are the DNA of the soul. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's the. Can I put that on stream? I feel like um, there's a his like you. You're not really supposed to put, you know, that thing on the, on the on stream. I I don't think you're supposed to put Chan's on stream. It would be fine. Oh, it's actually a wiki. Is it racist? How racist is it? It's not like 4chan at all? Like, how racist is it on a scale from, uh... 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 uh offline TV to, um... Seth. <laughs> they block NSFW content. Okay, let's try it then. Put it on my Twitter. Reminder, uh, rat mistake. Okay, okay. Ugly, evil creatures that spread plague wherever they go on top of kingdoms for fun and profit. You will be hard pressed to. <laughs> it has warnings when it has NFW. Skavens are the most evil race in the entire setting. Wait, really quick. Is there a system of alignment in Warhammer? Because it's like chaos gods versus old gods. It seems like pretty, pretty even in terms of. Uh, it, it seems pretty black and white. Just don't read the non-canon female Skaven section. Well, now that you've said it, I'm really curious. Female Skaven. Blood Bowl on this? Blood Bowl. Oh, it's like a game. Jim and Bob from Old Blood Bowl art. Isn't that the Joker? What is the Blood Bowl? Blood Bowl is a spin off game, alternate universe. You may not like it, but this is what peak femininity looks like. Why am I listening to Witcher music? It's like Metal Witcher. Let's just go back to Sabaton. <laughs> Safe pick. Okay. Fun fact. They consider the number 13 to be lucky. Okay. Fun fact about me. Fun fact about me. When I was growing up, I was super chuny. Um, when I, I, I participated in like... Um, in a flag football thing. It was all girls. It was all girls. I did it with my friends. And I, we all got to pick our, our numbers. And I picked... 13, because I'm super chuny. Yeah. Promotions means NF NSFW. I was a cheerleader for a bit, not that long. Um, no, I was I was in on the flag football team and I was a wide receiver. That's why wide receiver is like the only position I know. Chuny! Okay, Skavens can into sp They have sniper rifles, warpstone rifles of instant brain pop. Yes, yes. I like how they wrote this like entire thing in in like kind of uh Skaven language. <gasps> okay, wait. They just don't like anyone, huh? Beastman connection. This game this song is so fucking good. 
I'm unsurprised. The anime girl was super chumy. Chini, tell me it ain't true. I wonder if there's a Skeven translator out there. Skeven translator. Oh, come on. There has to Jitter speak. I didn't know it was called Jitter speak. Jitter translator. There's gotta be one. Oh, maybe not. Man, Corn Brand is coming. I remember spending many hours reading 1D 4chan articles. The best way to experience Skavens is to play Vermintide. I played Vermintide before. It was the worst. <laughs> I hate Susan. How much did the Loom learn so far? We learned many things. I now know who Corn is, Tits, Tits, Snitch, and, um, Nurgle, and Slanish. I know all the gods, and I know that Age of Sigmar is bad, and I know that Maliketh fucks his mom, and I know that the Warhammer world is totally OC, do not steal. And then, uh, what else have I learned today? Uh, that Skaven are a mistake. Skaven mistake. Summary. Papa Nurgle and creepy Uncle Slanesh. Power Wolf fits more with the Lord Titan than Sabaton. Power Wolf? Okay. Look at that! Look at that! I can play music and I won't even I won't even get fucked. After. Do you enough to have a favorite Chaos God yet? No, let's look up the Chaos Gods more. Nigu. Wait, what's the what the mentally challenged one that you said that I was, Tuna? No Koho? No Kohel? No Neck Koha? What was the one that you told me that I was? I want to be a Chaos God too, but I feel like the main ones are taken. No Koho. Who's that? There is no... Nekoho. Oh, Kanekoho. Perfect. Wait, I don't like that. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> Nekoho is the god of contradictions and paradox. Because you're with the super natural existence doesn't. He fights against the concept of belief and faith as a result of the enemy of all spiritual creatures and faithful worshippers. He only actually appears as a simple mortal being and counts on everyone and nobody to be his followers. Nekoho will one day bring about the end of the Chaos Gods when nothing left will worship them and they will cease to be. Oh, I'm just the ultimate atheist? Katan? What's Katan? That's not a thing. Malice. Malice? Koten. Koten. It's not in here. Koten. Oh! Katan in a tesseract? The Katan are like 40k's weaker and more diet light version of Galactus. Oh, guys, 40k is so confusing. What is Galactus? What is a Necron? I thought that was from Destiny 2. I thought that was a Destiny 2 thing. Pokemon gods? What am I, Deoxys or Arceus? Malice Melal was supposed to be the chaos god of pure chaos, but lawsuits happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's too many lore connections. 40k would take several streams to explain. I mean, yeah, it's gonna take like a bunch of videos to explain, right? I was so fucking confused. What? <laughs> Galactus is a planet eater? Galactus Marvel. Oh! Galan. Wait. Who's the short, the short evil guy that showed up in old cartoons? He was he had a gigantic square head and he had a really small baby body. Moloch! Yeah, Moloch! Who's Moloch? Malak. Um, Malak. Ma is he Marvel? It's Modok. No, it's Modok. Modok. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who the fuck is that? Oh, I just got them confused because their head shape is the same. This is who I was talking about. Modok, not Malak. Mo Mordok. Modok was an Iron Man villain. Help me. Help me. The lore goes too deep. There's too much. Oh my, look at all this version. 
How many fucking Earths are there? Earth 311, Earth 763, Earth 982, Earth 1064, 1610, 2149, 5423, 8311, 8321, 89, 10, 9021, 9047, 9200, 9411, 9602, 99, 97. There's some more! I don't think that this is Spider-Man. <laughs> SpongeBob! <laughs> I think comic shit is unironically the one more thing complicated than Games Workshop. Wow, this is ADD. <laughs> this is curiosity, baby! Curiosity! Okay, okay, so what happened with this guy, Galactus, and Catan? What is the difference between Catan and Galactus? How many times can you sell the same shit until people get bored of it? Yeah, capitalism at its peak. It's funny how they still pretend it all makes sense. How do we get from Warhammer to Marvel? Because someone said that there was a lawsuit. So where does the loss? Where did the lawsuit happen? Catan eats stars, Galactus eats planets. This guy eats planets. And this guy eats stars. He's basically a uh, sentient Dyson Sphere, correct? Similarity, being very powerful cosmic entities. And there was a lawsuit over that? Wait, there was a lawsuit because Gameworks wanted to in wanted to own the word map. <laughs> What do they what do they take that from the fucking like Oxford Dictionary? Sorry, Oxford Dictionary. Malice belongs to us now. Seriously? The guy who wrote Malal for GameWorks left and kept the copyright. Oh. Who is Malal? Oh. Oh. Well, he is very ugly. Is he pregnant? I'm sorry, it's wrong to assume. Maybe he's just fat. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Is he a rat? Can't believe Loomers is gonna be eaten by the Catan. Pregnant Malal? Is he actually pregnant? Necrons are a race of aliens in Necron tier that became essentially living robots after fighting the old ones and the Chaos Demons billions of years ago. The Necrons killed the old ones. The Catan controlled the Necrons, but they overthrew their gods and used them for their Wow, I read that whole passage and nothing stuck in my head. One second. I just need to read it again slowly. <laughs> Malal is the Chaos God of anti-chaos. How does that make any sense? Malali. <laughs> Mal Milady. Exactly, it doesn't. One second, let me just read that one more time. It all went over my head and I have literally no idea what I just read. Is that even English? Necrons are a race of aliens. Are Necrons not the bone men? The bone men that have necro powers. Essentially living robots after fighting the old ones. Living human bone robots? Fighting the old ones who are the lizard guys and the chaos demons who are the Northern people or the South people? The Necrons killed the old ones. The old ones are dead? So the Great Plan is foiled? Wait, is the Great Plan foiled because the Necrons killed the old ones? There is no Great Plan anymore. Even though Krokgar escaped to space on his spaceship, he can no longer follow the Great Plan because the old ones died! No! This is horrible. I thought it was related. I thought it was the same world. Is there a timeline on this website? Timeline. <laughs> Help me. The Necrons only exist in 40k, it's fine. Can I have a timeline? Can I have a timeline? <laughs> they are related? Are they related? How... WHFD relates to WH40K. Old ones, so yeah, yeah, but they were the frogs. Is Warham... Okay, it's okay, we have a Quora... We have a Quora answer here. Okay, uh... 
Lore wise, barring retcons, the gist is the old ones were losing wholesale to the chaos gods, reality after reality being consumed, and the old ones were on the verge of complete destruction. So they made a little pocket reality and filled it with life forms they had created previously, which is why many races in both games are so similar. They made special gates of the planetary poles to act as barriers so chaos couldn't get in. And. But Chaos found a way to break the barriers and spill into the world. Both universes are basically within the same multiverse. It's not even the same universe. It's not even the same universe. It's just in the same multiverse. This was retconned? Uh, it says barring retcons. How can they retcon the no retcon? <laughs> Warhammer Fantasy Battle is a single one. <laughs> the warp spans many realities. They are glue between the two cities. It all makes sense. <laughs> FB is a pocket dimension inside 40k. Some have conjectured the old world of Warhammer existed in a hidden, hidden part of the 40k galaxy. Some even theorize Sigmar was one of the two lost Primarch. What is a Primarch? What the fuck is a Primark? Where did the wiki go? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fuck. I need, I need a link. One H, one, uh, one H F. Fuck. What was it called again? One, one F. Chant. Wiki. One D. Stop, it's 40k. One D push. <laughs> Sorry, I was very good. Wait, why can't I? Here we go. Let me control F in the timeline. <laughs> this is so painful. I hate this. I hate this so much. Wait, I just had the website open and I've lost it. Can a mod link it to me, please? I'm dead. Can a mod please link me the wiki that I just had? I don't want to go back all those tabs. By the Emperor, she's too deep. Save me. Save me. Can Thank you. Thanks, Sal. Okay, we'll replace Galactus. Isn't Galactus a good guy? Isn't isn't that a saying by the might of Galactus? Has hasn't someone in the Marvel universe said the might of Galactus as a catchphrase? Primark. Oh god. Okay, one second. The link was more prominent in the olden days of the 80s versus the nine, early 90s where you'd see fantasy characters wielding 40k weapons and such, but Gameworks began, began shying away from this when they started going more serious grimdark. What is grimdark? As opposed to their original funny and satirical theme, though they never cut the ties completely and still have some modern references. The teen, the tits, Nietzsche, and silver towers are a slight reference to this. Age of Sigmar did something to all this, but every time I try and to get into the lore of AOS, my brain glazes over and tells me to stop. <laughs> grim dark means everything is grim and dark. Oh, like uh, original fairy tales. Grim dark is what Warhammer 40k Berserk and Og. It's edge, edge lord shit. Okay, what is a Primark? 21 genetically engineered sons of the Emperor and the female perpetual Erda. What is this? Are we- is this Dune universe now? Is this- Are we in Dune world? Prime market? This is 40k lore? Space Roman Empire. 40k is literally Dune. This is just fucking Dune. Dune- this is Dune. We are in Dune. <laughs> original, original characters. Oh, see, please do not steal. What is his name? <laughs> Wait, isn't God Emperor like a whole a, a whole book in Dune? God Emperor Dune? He's just Paul. Is his name Paul? What's his name? Are there pilots in, in, in this shit too? Are there pilots? OC do not steal? He doesn't have a name? Oh, okay, so he's just, he's just, okay. <laughs> 40k is very original, please do not steal. His name is, <laughs> his name is John Warhammer. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. 
Generic, insert generic name here. Emperor. <laughs> there are pilots in 40k. There are ripped off, ripped off brain plus spawn connected to giant ship consoles. There are several navigators. What they need to cruise through warp. Oh, are they high off warp stone? <laughs> It's OC. <laughs> the warp is their FTL through hell because psychers are based are directly connected to the warp. Oh, they rip a hole through hell. Ah, ah, uh, this is where it connects to Doom. You take Dune and then you take Doom and you squish it together and then you get Warhammer 40k. Correct? Understood. <laughs> Where's Doom guy? <laughs> Dune Eternal. <laughs> that should be the next Warhammer 40k game. Dune Eternal. They will fight in a desert planet. Uh, not called Arrakis. Let's call it Erebus. And then instead... <laughs> John Romero did base Doom off of one of his first D&D games. Really? The Doomslayer was a space marine? What is a space marine? <laughs> ah, it's the Doom guy. <laughs> How much has Halo taken from uh, Warhammer? Uh, this looks like we're getting into Halo. <laughs> Wait, no, Starcraft. 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 Space marine. What is Erebus? <laughs> Space Marines are super soldiers created from the Emperor. Isn't the Space Marine the thing that you can summon or spawn in AoE 1 when you type in the cheat code? When you type in the cheat code in, in AoE 1, you get a Space Marine, right? StarCraft was 40k but lost the license? Really? StarCraft was supposed to be a 40k game? Really? Oh! I see the connection. My brain is making the connections. Oh my god, I understand so much. All nerds are the same. We are we we are united in this fucking hell of of uh fuck garbage. She's braining. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm braining. I'm fucking braining. <laughs> it all makes so much sense. It's <laughs> Astartes is a what's Astartes? What is that? Astartes. Oh, the fictional universe of Warhammer 40k. The Space Marines, also known as the Adeptus Astartes, are superhuman warrior monks who fight for the Imperium of Man. Astartes is a fan animator for 40k. I start to wait. I want to go back and look about look at the orc clans. Okay, tangent over, tangent over. I am now curious about orc clans. Oh, but this is the video where he has the YouTube voice that I don't want to watch. Wait, I don't want to watch him if he has YouTube voice. No, 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 no. Major kill. Orc. What's that? Thank you, Zal. I have to copy it manually like a chump. Don't type for a second, I have to copy it like an idiot. Oh. Astartes 1 to 5. Oh, whoa. Oh, come on, guys. Wait, wait, let me finish. Let me look at this, uh, let me look at this orc thing. Orcs explained by Australian two years ago. Hopefully he doesn't have- Happy anything. October, you Xeno-loving cunts. A Perfect. few of you are probably like, again. Major Kill, what the fuck? Surely do Spooktober with the Night Lords of the overflow. Legion of the Damned. Why would you call to which it I reply, hole? I make more than one video a month, you Don't stupid fuck, so hole. be patient. Ew. What After is lots wrong of pestering from my Discord, hole? the success of my Greenskins Sir. Warhammer fantasy video, as well as a subconscious desire to explain the lore behind an intergalactic a sentient Come on, guys, you don't want to watch the funny orc pirate? He has a little pirate hat and a metal eye patch and a, like stripy pants and everything. Can I please watch this video? Can we watch this video first and then I'll watch Ass Starters? 
mushroom, hell bent on eternal war, I decided it was a good time Watch to bring this bad boy out. Come on, it's only 13 minutes, and Astartes is. 12 minutes. Aw, oh, man! Watch the funny orc. I want to watch the funny orc first. Let's finish our fantasy lore hole. <laughs> now, when I do these kind of videos, I find and it valuable we'll to draw 40K. similarities to real life countries and cultures. For example, the Tyranids were America due to their parasitic and world destroying nature. Mm. Norska was like cold Australia because they love beers, fighting, and they have no guns. Mm. And Cathay was like China because they're Chinese. So what country has rapid reproduction, is universally hated, full of unreasonably violent <laughs> cunts that despite being extremely devolved and backwards, still pose a significant kill, threat mommy. to everyone? Opinions Motherfucking are not shared North by... Korea. Kim, you fucking orc. These are exciting times guys, we're approaching 50,000 subscribers and I have a few cool ideas. <gasps> so I know a few talented dudes who do custom designs and shit for hoodies. <gasps> They oh, handle the merch God. for a few really well-known personalities in Melbourne, Crazy so I was thinking of working with them to get 100 Founders so Edition Mage Kill hoodies years. made. What, the quality six, will be incredible and pretty cheap because of how piss sweet the Aussie dollar is. I'm going to be getting some designs made, but I need your help. Do you guys like minimalistic like this or something really detailed like this? Comment below or oh. message me on Discord. I'll be allowing no, pre-orders and reservations. Long-term or high-value patrons will also be given first really picks or even sent the hoodies for free. Okay, Today I'll be explaining the origin of the orcs as well as some of their key characters. We'll also be key looking at what they're currently doing and what they want to achieve. Yeah. Let's get into it. Back achieve. in the day when the galaxy was being ripped apart by the war in heaven, the Old Ones and their elder armies were losing the war against the Necrons and their stand the overlords. They realized they needed warriors bred purely for battle. Hence, while the Elder of Old were pretty solid, wait. they just didn't cut it. Wait, 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 the wait, wait. is this 40k? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, is this 40k? Oh, we're on 40k. Oh, okay. Battle. Hence, while the Elder of Old were pretty solid, they just didn't cut it. The Old oh, Ones created the Crocs, one. the ancient Crocs. and way more powerful ancestor for the modern day Orc. These Crocs were smart, absolutely gigantic in size, and helped even the playing field. The war Crocs. in heaven ends and everyone collectively eats mega dick. The Crocs devolve significantly due to a sudden lack of significant enemies, as well as a regular oh, program by the Elder. They're like dogs! The thing to note is that the Crocs... Do you know that if you have a dog that's a very intelligent breed, like if you get a golden retriever or a poodle or like a, a, a sheep dog or something like that, if you don't properly exercise your dog's brain, that's what makes your dog so violent and bad. Mm -mm -mm. So if you have a chihuahua and you ever wonder why chihuahuas are so shit, it's because people treat them like objects and not like actual animals, and they don't work out the dog's brain. Like, if you have a dog that can heal while you're walking, it'll, like, you can basically do a walk in, like, uh, 10 minutes as opposed to, like, 30 minutes because your dog is, like, actually thinking the whole time. Mm -mm. So you actually have to uh, have your dogs trained and, and, uh, work out their brains there's apparently there's apparently corgi ranches where corgis because corgis are actually herding dogs so some there's like some places where you can just bring your corgi to and then they let your corgi herd around a bunch of sheep if you have a corgi apparently they try and herd you into like a safe spot or something anyway so orcs are basically dogs that uh devolved because their brains weren't being used wonderful Raising a life form requires dedication and responsibility? No way! But yeah, corgis will actually, like, try and herd you into doing stuff. That's why you have to work out your corgi by letting it herd sheep every once in a while. Corgis are expensive puppies. Okay, continuing. Also not a separate race, <laughs> Quick but just tangent. a mega big dick roided version of the Monday Orcs. Oh. Given enough hardcore war and victory, the Crocs would likely return and shit on literally everyone. Yes. For context, it would only take a couple Crocs, or maybe even just one, what to body the fuck out of a Crusade era primer. Orcs are mushrooms. For comparison, yeah, orcs are the OP as shit Orcs on Ulanor were starting oh. to become Crocs, and these Orcs nearly killed the what Emperor. What is a Croc? Out of all the factions and races within 40k, the Orcs are by far the most over the top and make the least amount of sense. See, the Orcs run off placebos and are powered by the collective energy called <clears throat> <laughs> For example, orcs believe that if you paint bombs yellow, the explosion will be bigger. So when orcs have yellow bombs, those bombs will have bigger explosions. Orc weaponry, tech, and even themselves are run purely off belief. And so when orcs believe in themselves, they go fucking massive and get really strong. You might be thinking, why doesn't the Is other there a total war try war hammer orcs 40K? with logic and facts? Who's that? To try reining their beliefs, hence nerfing the shit out of them. Oh. Well, there's two answers. 
Orcs are pretty fucking <laughs> stupid. I'd rather spend time painting bombs yellow than no, figure out why not? rocket science. I feel like also, that would be any fun. attempts to re-educate trillions of angry mushrooms <gasps> would result in like, said yellow It would bomb. be like endless space, but... Oh, it would be like Stellaris, but with a little bit of RTS thrown in. Just take Stellaris and mod it to be 40k. I'm sure that's a mod. Stellaris 40k mod? That's a thing. That's gotta be a thing, right? Warhammer Stellaris? Wouldn't that basically be the game? It would take like 50 hours or like 100, 200 hours to win. There's Stellaris 40k mods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BFG2. This is a 40k mod. Yes, it kills PCs. Stellaris kills PCs. Stellaris will kill your PC. <gasps> Thank you, Tuna. There's Battlefleet Gothic Armada, which is Total War, but spaceships. One second, let me open my Steam and pull that up and put it in my wish list. Battle f Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Oh, I can't spell. Battlefleet. Oh. At least it's only $20. Whoa, the spaceships look so cool. <gasps> Should I play it? Should I play? It's a short game. How sh how, how 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 short is it? How short is it? Gothic Armada is pretty big. Should I play one or two? Is it one or two? It's pretty good. How 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 long is it? Cam on Loom wishes Dawn of War. You're an RTS nerd. I'm not. I'm a 4x player. Stop calling me an RTS nerd when I'm clearly shit at RTS. My worst skill is micro. I'm a 4x player. I like to do the culture annex. I just enjoy annexing things. I'm very greedy. That's why I play so much Civ, you know? Because every single time I take something in Civ, I feel a little bit more fulfilled in my life. That's why I play online dress-up games because I can't afford real clothes, but at least I can buy them for my internet doll thing. You have a wishes? Yeah. Yeah. Lumi would like Endless Space? No, I hate Endless Space. I hate Endless Space because Horatio is a piece of shit gamer word. I'm not angry. Not molding. Armada 1 or Armada 2? One would be shorter than two and would also be a good intro to the series. Okay, I'm gonna wish list one and we'll just remember to play it because a uh, Battle Fleet Gothic Armada 1. Oh, it's only $15. That's viable. <gasps> Whoa! It still looks cool. This came out in 2016, huh? She is still seething. I'm a little. I'm still seething. Yeah. I am still seething about Horatio, and I refuse to go back to Endless Space until Horatio can be modded into a Xenomorph or something else. I don't want to look at his face anymore, you know? I just... If I could just mod Horatio out of the game, I would be very, very happy with stuff. Lumi's jealous of Horatio's good looks. Horatio only did it for Horatio, and Horatio was the... <laughs> I hate Horatio. I hate him. Dawn of War 1 had soul. Mechanics are similar to Company of Heroes. I didn't play Company of Heroes, but I watched the Seth video on it. And that's close enough, right? Thank you for 11 months, Yuri. You can choose not to put him in at the start, you know, but I like to play on the biggest possible map because that means that I can claim the most possible territory. And that's why Horatio must always be in the game in order to lose to us. But I think I'm just not good enough at Endless Space to win it yet. It's not, I don't understand it yet. See, we beat humankind on, like, very difficult because I'm good at 4x, but I think Endless Space is just too different. Yeah. Hi, Yixian. I'm doing good. I'm learning about Warhammer lore. There's a lot of stuff. I'm really confused, but it's a fun time, and I'm having a, I'm having fun lately. <laughs> That's what matters, right? Okay, let's watch the org video. It's being dropped on your fucking head. Oh. Speaking of mushrooms, orcs are literally an... Let's go back. Fucking seconds. stupid, and would rather spend time painting bombs yellow than figure out genuine rocket science. Also, any attempts to re-educate trillions of angry mushrooms would result in said yellow bombs being dropped on your fucking head. <laughs> Speaking of mushrooms, orcs are literally. An oh, there's a goblin on his hybrid. shoulder. This you means see that? have no. Wait, this, this, there's a goblin and on his shoulder. Organs, hence, are made even more durable by it, and can also survive shit like head transplants. On top of this, they can reproduce extremely fast. An orc who's feeling a bit king dick will shed some spores on the ground, allowing other orcs to grow from there. The heavy fl Wait, they're actually 
they're actually mushrooms. They actually reproduce with spores. That's real. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke because they kind of get cut. They come out of the ground. Mushrooms are actually a hive mind. One of my friends and I got really into it. Uh, like, did you know that they're actually a whole fucking hive? Mushrooms are a hive mind. Mushrooms are a hive mind that control the whole world. Mushrooms roots talk to each other with electric electric signals. And <gasps> are orcs a hive mind? They stand spore pilled. Wow. <laughs> Aren't a hive mind? Oh, they're just too stupid. Flamer is your best friend when you're being charged by a literal army of men. To make it even worse for you, a dying orc is actually the best for reproduction. It's the spores <gasps> because they the release dead spores. Nutrients. These cunts are literally hydras. An interesting point to make is that the orc's oh. color of speed is red, so they paint their vehicles red and they do indeed go faster. However, it's not 100% <gasps> clear if this placebo power affects the other races. When fighting orcs, do blood angels move faster due to their red armor, or do imperial fists have better explosives? This would be a really interesting concept, but it's likely that isn't the case. For example, if orc a non-orc tries to use orc weapon That's or vehicle, it will usually not work as fundamentally the vehicle and weapon is not made correctly and has little to no science behind it. Being powered through the <laughs> belief that it works and nothing else. Now all of this makes orcs seem like a bit of a meme faction. A race of warlike fungi that are just here to have a good time. And look, you wouldn't be entirely wrong. To the orcs, their constant state of war and destruction is just a big game to them. And they don't even realize that no one else wants to play. Orcs do not hate their enemy. In fact, they love their enemy. Because without their enemy, there'd be no game to play. Look at Yarik and Guzkil Thraka. One is a commissaire and the other is an orc. They are fierce enemies and have fought many bitter battles against each other. Yarik hates Guzkil with a passion and seeks to kill him. Gazkal, on the other hand, fucking frots Yarik and generally wants him to stay alive so they can keep playing together. Aww, Gazkal they're just has little released Yarik on more than one occasion and even admitted that they're Yarik has beat him on the occasion fair and square. The cunt even said he believed Yarik must have some orc in him to be able to fight back against Aww. him. That's one hell of a compliment. They have no depression. The orc economy is like, one of the most Wah! successful in the galaxy <laughs> as there is no extreme poverty and Why no large so corporations cute? to export the, the hard work from lower and middle class. Allow me to explain. Like orcs trade in Innocent. teeth. Oh. The bigger the teeth, the better they are. If you're an orc and you need more teeth, and more wealth, <laughs> you simply go up and punch another orc in the face and take some of his. Or if you don't feel like dying, you this can pull up some of your system. own teeth and bam, instant wealth. There is value in the teeth of other races, however it follows an exchange rate. Human teeth are obviously of low value, and tyranid teeth are of high value. You Wait, might be like, teeth? human teeth are obviously of low value, and tyranny teeth are of high value. Tyrin. You might what be like, but major kill, wouldn't the orc economy suffer from inflation because Tyrin orcs grow oh, back their you. teeth indefinitely and rapidly? Potentially, but oh, due to being a mushroom, the orc teeth degrade quickly. This not only ensures that there's no inflation, but also that the economy is extremely rapid. Oh, Another benefit of the teeth so economy is that the biggest and most powerful orcs tend to be the richest, as they can just knock out other orcs' teeth or pull out their own highly valued ones. We honestly oh. all could learn a lot from these guys beats communism. Now let's have a look at some of the most well-known and interesting orcs lurking around. I'm on a list. Arguably the most well-known orc lurking around, we have the prophet of Gork and Mork himself, Gazkill, aka the only Wait, orc in the, the universe that doesn't have severe again, aggressive was Down syndrome. Gazkill was once a lonely like bitch Gork doing what any Gork. dumb motherfucker does <laughs> until the Fire Nation attacked. And by that I mean until he got shot in the head with a bolter gun. A third of his head was blown off and most of his brain well, matter they as combined. well. They combined. Some wacky medical orc thought it would be funny to replace the missing part of his head with adamantium, which for some reason allowed Guzkull to talk directly to his gods Gork and Mork. Oh. Don't question it. Gork and Mork, Hence, when yeah, Guzkull awoke, he believed he was the chosen one. As we have established, orcs run off the power of belief. It's actually quite yeah, nice, you know, like Guzkull believed in himself, hence conquered <laughs> the planet and dominated all the orcs on it with... Orcs are just shown in anime personified. I love the orcs the most. Cannot be beaten because they believe they are the chosen one. 
than only a couple years. They combine only a bit only of cheeky fantasy? shit from what Eldrad, he ended up attacking Street. Armageddon, hence meeting his arch nemesis slash secret boyfriend Yarrick. It is eventually revealed that Gaskell is not full of shit and is indeed the prophet of Gork and Mork. Gaskell then. abandoned Armageddon no and the rest of his gods. He is now running around gathering a fuck off massive merry band of Only orcs. Pure narcissism if there's gonna be crocs in like the current setting, it's gonna be because of this motherfucker. Another fan favorite orc, we have Tusker Demon Killer, oh, who is so this much fun that Corn so genuinely likes the I dude. Tusker was a stop stand <laughs> war boss. They went around <laughs> causing I'm everyone struck. problems. That was until some demons got aboard his ship and started murdering his boys. Oh no, not After the boys! After Tusker had defeated the demons, he realized something. Demons are extraordinarily fun to kill. This is my favorite Hence, he one. called himself the Demon Killer and went this balls deep to the Eye of Terror. <laughs> when he approached Kadia, the Kadian guard was like, oh fuck, we really don't need to deal with this right now. However, to their oh. complete surprise and shock, Tusker just ignored them and charged straight into the Eye. Oh. Now, the Eye is a pretty munted place. Most What's mortals go insane me? instantly upon arrival, however orcs are too stupid to comprehend all the <laughs> fuck shit going on, so they just ignore the mind rape. They went from planet to planet, destroying everything. They burnt Slaanesh's <laughs> pleasure forest to the ground, cleaned up <laughs> Nerville's shitholes, pissed on titsnitches like Brain rape crystal slide right shit. Up. <laughs> Eventually they met their match when they invaded a cornite planet, made of literally only blood. Oh. The battle was legendary, however Tusker was eventually slain, <gasps> but not before slicing oh, off Munted the demon prince's nutsack. Thank you. That would have been Slippery, the end of old mate Tusker, brain but it was not turned to be, as Korn gained a mighty erection from witnessing one of the more epic battles Wait, about what? not turned to be, nutsack. That would Wait. have been slain, but not before slicing off the demon prince's nutsack. That would have been the end of old mate Tusker, but it was not turned to be, as Korn gained a mighty erection from witnessing one of the more epic battles of our time. Hence, every day Tusker is brought back to life to battle the best Korn has to offer. Every day Tusker loses, and you know what? He is pretty stoked about the whole thing. Scarily enough, if one day Korn <laughs> lets Tusker go, the whole galaxy is might be real? fucked, as orcs grow bigger and stronger the more they fight, and these cunts have been fighting fuck? non stop. Would not be surprised if they were genuine crocs by now. No list would be complete without the beast, or beasts because there were six of them, and they were a bit of a problem. The beast was so large and powerful Man that their collective white yeah, energy boosted the intelligence of the entire race. The heaven. beast employed Perfect. the use of attack moons, which sounds as fucked as they actually were. The beast formed the largest <laughs> the galaxy had ever seen since the Crocs, and they beelined for terror, massacring billions of Imperials along the way. Vulcan <laughs> fought against only one of the beasts in the duel, and it ended up being with both of them being obliterated. The entire Imperial Fist Legion was brought to its knees and nearly wiped out, and the Imperium was genuinely fucked. To take out one of the six beasts was insanely costly, like they lost the prime up The Imperium was every time. only able to cheese a win by using some wacky reverse <laughs> energy bullshit to make the beast's head explode, destabilizing the shit out of the <laughs> and winning the war for the Imperium. The beasts were extremely random. There are another of other fun and spicy chief mushrooms lurking about, but we can save them for another video. Every the gods I don't of Orcs, Gork and Mork are almost as big as Mimas as Shio Gorath. One is what brutally is cunning and the other is cunningly brutal, but nobody knows which is which. <laughs> Gork and Mork are about as one dimensional <laughs> and basic as the Orcs they call their children. They want to eternally fuck up the galaxy, and in recent times have been taking a pretty direct role in it, guiding Gazkel to build a fuck off massive. <laughs> To do okay, so. I'm getting used to it you now. I'm getting used how to it after the, the old ones are so unstable. Surely could build an army I'm of more robotic and obedient instead Holy of being shit. mindlessly destructive. <laughs> well, you know, as they say, desperate times, desperate measures. Uh -huh. The orcs were a prototype that never got finished. There was not enough time to perfect the orcs and control their reality warping abilities. If the old ones never got genocided, then the orcs could have genuinely ended up being the true successors of the old ones instead oh. of the faggoty hentai loving elder. Slanesh would never would have been born and Chaos would have had its chase clapped a long time ago. It's entirely oh. possible that if the Orcs evolved to Crocs and even beyond, they would become a hyper intelligent diplomatic race. A theory which can be supported by how the Orcs were acting when the beasts emerged. They used fucking attack moons and they even had diplomats during this time. Wait, I thought the So what are the Orcs trying to achieve? How do they the win? Well, moons. that's the beauty of it. Please they already lie. have. A galaxy in a constant state of war and destruction. <laughs> this is a completely a different paradise. meaning than the you know. The Orcs wiped out everyone. They would get depressed and just kill each other. I guess you could say that their victory is evolving into Crocs, but they don't even care about that. To tie this video together, <laughs> North Koreans have no interest in progressing and no goals of domination and victory. What? 
They just want to wave their dicks around and declare war on the entire world. Just like Small our that precious Law versus Big Law. I mean, it makes sense. Ina is like a like an eldritch god, basically. It makes sense that she would be powered with was. This is for today, makes guys. Makes so much sense. The orcs completely and totally explained within one reasonably length video. Do you think? Do you think he has a video on um on uh uh oh, rattling rattling major kill? I want to watch rattlings. Are tacos just purple orcs? I think we've cracked the code. Ina is the god of orc. Watch Astartes now. But now I want to learn about rattling. Skaven stream. War, yes, yes. Oh, that was a stream. Can I have a Skaven lore video? Zalaman, can you find me a Skaven lore video that's funny? And then we can watch it. You have uh, 12 minutes while I watch Ass Tartars. Okay, what is this? Wait, let me go back to the beginning. This is super cinematic. What is this? What the fuck? This is so, like, well done. Okay. Call it. This is an HD. Yeah, this is high as I can get. I like music. This was made by a single person. Well, once you learn on real, it. <gasps> This is like high quality shit. Oh. oh my god. Sold his soul to Game Workshop to keep their videos up. Oh, bless you, as starters. What a chad. If not Unreal, what is it? Is, uh, doesn't it look like Unreal 5? What is it? If not Unreal, Blender? I should show Leaf with this. We were just talking about space games. Oh. This is about space marines, right? of the chaos goddess. Oh! Oh shit, they're big. Holy fuck, they're fucking wide. Do they need to be that wide? Yeah, we're watching a start to these. Oh 
psychers? There's ranks of psychers? <gasps> oh! Cyborg, okay. There's more proficient ones. Oh, look at that ship. That's so cool. Psychers are completely biological. Psychers are psychics, think gene great. Oh, okay. They seem to have cyber parts, though. These are, these have different armor. Oh, it's G Fuel. <laughs> are Space Marines like Templars or Teutonic Knights or something? But in space? Strongest Space Marine, okay. Ah, nice! Got it. What was the orb though? Now they seem evil. on are psychers a cult cultist side on the chaos side some are psychers are just like a thing that you can be <gasps> oh psychers are just mages so anyone could be a psyker can you have orc psychers Astartes. So you can have anything be a psychic. Any race could be a psychic. Lovecraftian mystery. It's like an SCP. We don't know.
Hi, Beat Agent. Chaos? <gasps> One of the older Xenos from a rogue trader, something as obscure as the Horan. What the fuck is the Horan? <gasps> oh, it's a magnet. Are there still Tomb Kings in 40k? Wait, but what was that? Then what are those things? No one knows? He's in chaos land. Tell me the stream is getting archived? Yeah. No, we're not... Uh, I could put it on YouTube if you want. I might have to do some censoring. What is that? Too bad we never got a full vid of the Elder fight. Necrons? Are Necrons skeletons? It's OC, so no one knows. You could just put something in to the Warhammer world and then it would just be like... Fine? What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Where's my wiki? Uh, 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 uh. Necron. Necrons are space undead metal skeletons. Oh, shit. They're like droids. Robo zombie Egyptians in space. <laughs> it's pre ordered to die. <laughs> Warhammer Lore used to be very open ended. Oh, Tyranids, right? Oh, whoa! They're like Xenomorphs! Wait, what the fuck? These are Z Come on, this is a Xenomorph. The Zerg. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Necrons are generally OP if you play as them. Space bugs. Are these not Xenomorphs? Tyranids are bug aliens from outside the galaxy. OC, do not steal! <laughs> Holy shit! Space locusts. Oh, there's like additions and stuff too? What? They're more like bugs from Starship Troopers. Tyranids are the most overpowered form of genetic, generic space aliens. Zergs, but with galaxy sized hordes. We're on the ninth edition? How many editions of. At least for D&D, it's pretty official, so you only have so many additions. They invade galaxies to eat up all the biomatter. 
At least that was the old lore. Okay, so the current Tyranids... This is the most expensive tooth, correct? Because it is probably the biggest. Alien Locust. Devours biomass. Uh, adaptable. Frequently engineer and modify traits and characteristics in their genome. Holy shit, imagine having a Tyranid race to play in like a total war warhammer game bye char have good work holy fuck imagine if you could just custom like genetically engineer tyranid armies on the go in a warhammer game that would be crazy that would be the most crazy warhammer game or total war warhammer ever maybe in warhammer 40k we'll go total war warhammer total war warhammer 2 total war warhammer 3 total war warhammer 44 tk <laughs> That's how they are generally. Necrons basically made a deal for eternal life with Catan in order to fight the old ones, but lost their souls in the process and became trapped in metal skeletons. I forgot. I thought Catan was just the container for something. Weaker and more diet light version of Galactus. Ancient powerful star gods capable of warping reality when they're actually... when they're full from a buffet of planets inhabited by life. So the Catan are evil? Everything is evil, right? And it wasn't until later that the Necrons took control of the Catan to use them. So the Necron built the, the, the Dyson Sphere. Catan are natural, they are just energy. But they seem to want chaos. If they want to... So... Space farts that eat suns? Catan are just real space gods? But how did the Necrons make a deal with them? Because the Necrons seem evil. What do the Necrons want? This is not simple shit like good or evil or 40k. Yeah, it seems like... Okay, okay. Necrons... What do they want? It's evil Catan versus evil Chaos. Catan are separate things from Chaos. The Necrons made living men. Yeah, but what do they want? Are they evil? They're just kind of antagonistic, but what do they actually want? They wanted eternal life tech from the old ones. They wanted to not die young. That's it? Then how come they became so evil? Because they lost their souls and stuff? They want domination. The Catan promised the Necron tier salvation from their terrible life, and they had extremely short lifespans since they lived on a highly radioactive planet. Oh. So they seem like pretty neutral. They're just grumpy boomers. They don't seem evil at all, but they look very evil. Whenever you have black and green together on a character, it's probably evil. They got tricked. They got tricked, but it seems like they they were neutral characters tricked by a neutral god. Because Catan isn't even evil. Both parties seem neutral. Necron in the new lore are good guys. Look up lore on, the, on Trazen the Infinite, the ultimate 40k meme lord. They have to destroy all life in order to cut off the material world from the warp, good guys, in a way. Okay, so everyone, but... Okay. <laughs> Who's the clown? <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream and cook in a bit, but I wanna know who the fucking clown is first. Is it this? Who's the clown god? Good and evil are, get really complicated in 40k? Lumi, this is so deep. I told you I was gonna look for- understand the lore today! Harlequins? Harlequin. Wasn't there a good song named Harlequin a long time ago? Harlequin. What is that? There was a song named Harlequin. I can't remember who it was by. Oh man, I'll just remember it later. Laughing god- Oh, what the fuck? Break a leg? Why well, look at myself? Galactic clowns, galactic thespians, or even more accurately, galactic juggalos. They are the Eldar followers of Segorach, the laughing god. Are these their own race? Segorach is the laughing god that the Harlequins follow. Oh god, he's ugly. Hunk god. <laughs> They're... Oh, Eldar Space Elves. Oh! 
They even kept the fucking Bretonian or the fucking uh blue, huh? Other space dark elves? Other space dark elves too? What are they called? Sildar? Yes? What are they called? Dark Eldar? Sildar would be cooler. Dark Eldar. My name was cooler. Oh. Rukari. Cause trademark reads. <laughs> Amazing. After the disaster that caught Slanesh and their empire into the universe, biggest gold sea reference, destroying their race, killing 90% or so of the population outrage, were dying race. Slanesh was devouring their souls like Eldar McNuggets, and it was only through aesthetic mysticism and use of soul stones that the Eldar could avoid getting bored by she who thirsts. So they just want to live. They even stole a star. The Dark Eldar are actually the real Eldar, and the Eldar are the outcasts of the Dark Eldar? <sighs> They're space degens who worship Slanish. Eldar is the Quenya word for elf. Original <laughs> We don't talk about it. Original content, donut still. Okay, so the hunk god was an elf. Eldar laughing god. Papyrus from Undertale and a massive dick. His dickery is only rivaled by the deceiver and tit snitch. He is the patron god of murder clowns and probably Eldrad who looks up to Segorak's dickishness and general jackassery as a shining example for all Eldar Farsi. <sighs> okay. Okay. One second. Weird boys? Uh, you guys said weird boys? Ah! Weird boys! Weird boys. 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 What is a weird boys? Did I spell it wrong? Weird boys. Help. I just want to... Okay, let's go from Psyker. I want to know what a weird boy is. <gasps> Ogrins! What is that? Oh, 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 here we go. Orcs are all passive psychers. Oh, because they have wah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wah! A weird boy is an orc that can use psychic abilities better than your average orc. Okay, okay. Orgrins are ab humans, big, strong, and dumb. Zero out of ten, not scary. Well, I scared someone because the police are coming. <laughs> Emanate their own just felt psychic energy in the power of the wah! <laughs> okay, okay, and they are more connected to Gork and Mork. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, what is an Eldrad? Renowned one of the oldest and most powerful five-sided sticker of the Eldar. Okay, okay. At this point, 40k. <laughs> I'm reading 40k lore. I just gotta work. I think I'm. I'm just about to end. I think my brain is about to fall apart. My brain soaked up so much 40k lore that instead of being wrinkly and dry, now it is plump and full, and now I cannot take any more. <laughs> Understand my froggy boy Mazamundi. <laughs> Her brain's gonna blow up. I think you've seen most of it. I think we got most of it. We watched a bunch of lore video. Are we still schizo rap bros, guys? Everyone is a schizo rap bro. No, 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 no. Reminder. Rat. It says rat is a mistake. Reminder. Rat mistake. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go back to chat. Nice! So, I think I understand a little bit. I understand something. That's all I can ask for. I feel like this rabbit hole was kind of like a... an unwinnable battle. It's easier to find a faction like and move out from that lore-wise, otherwise your brain is gonna evaporate. Wait, are there space... lizard? Space... lizard... 40k. Lizards in space? Is there? There's no space lizard man. Right? Lox... Lo, Loxato. 
Oh, what the fuck? They look like aliens. Some Xeno races, maybe? My favorite faction is the Lizard. And so I have been... I have, I have been denied my great love, so I need to find another one. Congrats on me, now you have 0.3 neck beard. I'm gonna grow one hair on my neck. <laughs> Wonderful. There are Kroot? What are Kroot? Okay, now, don't get me started on this fucking rabbit hole again. Don't talk to me about Kroot. Don't talk to me about clowns. Don't talk to me about this shit. <laughs> I need to go make food. I need to go cook. I hate when I miss one hair on my neck. <laughs> I had a very good time. Let me don't go too deep into lore soon enough. You'll interrupt chat with actually. It's okay. I'm not the type. I'm too, um, I'm too, uh, I'm too neutral on the whole topic. It's like cool and stuff, but I also feel like, holy shit, Ten has been streaming for five hours. Holy fuck, she's, a, she's addicted. Will you post your food? Probably not. I'm just gonna make myself toast. With some eggs for protein. I'm actually sore today, because yesterday I did push-ups where I touched my face to the ground, and I'm actually sore, so... I'm gonna raid Tenma. Because she is addicted to Hollow Knight. Please cheer her on and remind her to eat food and take care of Tail, because she seems addicted. Let's call it, um, Space Elf. Space... Space Raid. She's illiterate, so she won't get it. Please watch my cool genmate Tenma, half genmate. Um, I actually really enjoyed that. <laughs> I like rabbit holes. I am um, a big fan of digging. <laughs> I love digging holes. Oh, wah raid! Do wah raid! That's much better. Wah raid, wah raid. Just do wah raid. <laughs> okay, I, um, tomorrow. Oh, maybe later I'll be doing a collab. I'm not actually that sure. I was supposed to do a collab with Yuri, but I'm not sure if it's happening, so... Uh... Are we doing this in an hour, Lamau? <laughs> okay, go read Tenma. I might play a game with Yuri and Meru in an hour. Tomorrow I'm doing some anniversary stuff. Saturday we'll play some Hotline Miami and chat. And then Sunday is uh, Warhammer 2, where it can be Mazda Mundi. Subscribe to YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitter. I will continue to try and get my cover re-uploaded because out of sheer idiocy, YouTube bots cannot parse properly. So that's happening. But yeah, for now, Otsunomi, go have fun at Tenma's Otsunomi. Goodbye!